scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Unfortunately, many people desire the end product of life, the end product of power, the end product of grace, but they are unwilling to subscribe to the pathway that leads there. God is not a magician. There is a predefined pathway that leads to glory. Hallelujah. This is already a word of encouragement for someone. Admiring what God is doing does not make it yours. Desiring what God is doing is wonderful, but that does not make it yours. You have to follow diligently by the grace of God, the path that leads to glory the path that leads to grace, the path that leads to prosperity, the path that leads to beauty and color. And the beautiful thing is that you can start no matter how much you have deviated from that path. The moment, you see, no matter how missing someone is, say for instance, someone were on his way or her way here and they veered off and went somewhere else. If you call them, the first question you will ask them is, where are you? You want to know how far they have deviated then you now begin to reroute and do a new description until they find that location hallelujah for someone the lord jesus christ sent you here by his spirit to put an end to a life of going round circles in the name of jesus christ because some of you are about to give up and you're wondering whilst you are seated perhaps inside outside any of the overflows or following online you might be saying apostle you're just describing me. I'm at my end right now. Confused, not coordinated. I do not even know what my life is about. Jesus is able to bring beauty and color. But it's not just by prophetic speaking, you see. God's method has always been his word. God's method has always been men in partnership with his spirit. So when you pay attention to the word of God, that is really the miracle service. I want you to please listen. The miracle service is not when people begin to fall and shout around. The miracle service is not when um, you begin to hear of testimonies of what God is doing. The miracle service is not when I begin to pray for requests, yeah? It's not when I begin to minister prophetically. The miracle service starts at the instance that the word of God comes. The word of God can come to you, but the word of God can be sent to you. The sent word, listen carefully, the word that comes to you comes to build. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. But the word that is sent is sent to heal and sent to deliver. He sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them from all their destructions. So please be attentive. Many people are very careless when they come for a service like this in such a heavy atmosphere of God's power and grace because we may have programmed our mind to only respond to certain circumstances that we believe to be the move of God but every part of the service is the move of God hallelujah I welcome all who are fellowshipping with us for the first time I know that you were acknowledged earlier on but thank you very much for making that sacrifice those following across the globe connecting for the first time and all who have traveled within this nation 
particularly those who have traveled outside of this nation we love you and we thank the lord for bringing you one assurance we can give you is that you will never go back the same in the name of jesus christ god has covenanted with us that his presence will continually produce signs and wonders and he has guarded that covenant with his jealousy and you can be sure that god will do you good tonight in jesus name as i prayed preparing for this miracle service you will think that um after walking in the anointing and seeing the manifold hand of god for many years you should already be familiar with the dealings of God and you can always assume that after all God will move the sick will be healed but that is not how I walk with God um, you get to a point in your life where result is not your motivation is accuracy of birthing the will of God you see that now the truth is that you will get to a level where you have mastered the dynamics of the workings of the spirit you can guarantee by his grace that in keeping with certain principles some results will happen guaranteed but then that is where another kind of problem comes because in the kingdom it is not results that is commended it is the will of god are we together your results are only commendable to the degree to which they line up with the will of god so if god wants you to go left this way and you go left just once you did well but you fell short with respect to the will of god so we get to points in our walk with god where we have to seek him afresh for every meeting as though we were powerless because truly we are outside of his help and outside of his assistance this is already a word of encouragement for someone the danger of overconfidence when you handle the things of the spirit for a long time and when God has helped you to gain some level of mastery complacency and overconfidence can set in and the humility to seek the Lord afresh Lord what do you want to be done if the only thing the Lord wants in this service is that we sing and share the grace I assure you that is exactly what will be done are we together now there are no assumptions with God do not assume that just because you walked around Jericho yesterday, that is the way Jericho will fall today. You have to hear from God that which he desires to be done per time, per season. That's why you see seemingly foolish instructions will produce extraordinary results. You know why? Because you are not just acting on the strength of the flesh. You are acting in keeping with that which is consistent with the will of God. Are we learning already? So as I sought the Lord in prayer, I had this name three times, Jabez, Jabez, Jabez. I had that name three times in my spirit. And I know when the Lord begins to speak, I know that he's communicating that name to be able to guide us as to what he intends to do in the miracle service tonight. Hallelujah. First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 to 10 and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren and the Bible says and his mother called his name Jabez now if you read it like this from the KJV or the modern translations you would not get the full picture this to the whole story of Jabez here is captured in just two verses um, and is broken into three phases. Number one, it starts with the end of the story. Then number two, it starts with the condition. The condition that Jabez found himself as a result of his birth and the proclamations of his mother. Then the next verse, verse 10, tells us what he did to change the tides. So let's go back to verse 9. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. That was the end of Jabez's life. But the Bible says the beginning of the story is that the mother called his name Jabez, meaning sorrow, pain, because I bear him in sorrow. Are we following the story now? So Jabez from verse 9 was a gentleman who grew up 
experiencing all kinds of woes in his life and the bible says the mother went through excruciating pain in childbirth and in anger and annoyance she called the child jabez verse 10 the bible says and jabez called on the god of israel called on the god of israel the bible does not say jabez lamented over his situation helplessly the Bible did not say Jabez went around in hopelessness and despair. The Bible says somewhere along the lines of Jabez's growth process, he found out that there was a God in heaven who could change the narrative of men's lives. Is somebody learning now? And the Bible says when he found out whoever it was that taught Jabez about God, the Bible does not tell us, at least not in this chapter, but then we know that Jabez eventually found out that there is a God in heaven who is the God of Israel. Then the Bible says, Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. Number one, I'm establishing our prayer points tonight. This is the whole miracle service tonight. Number two, enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. Number three, let your hand be with me. Then number four, that thou would keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. I like the ending part. And God granted him that which he requested. Please look up, look up, look up. Don't assume you understand what you just read. The Bible never said God granted him what he wanted. The Bible never said God granted him what he cried for. The Bible it never said God granted him what he needed. It says God granted him what he requested. Is someone learning now? So, let's discuss Jabez very briefly. Number one, I have taught you here and the word Jabez means he makes sorrowful. That means the memory of that individual brings pain and causes pain. Jabez can be a person and Jabez can be a situation. Now, um, please look up. Let me, we're not teaching tonight. We have the weeks following to teach. But I want to show you something in the Bible. Every name, every name you see in the Bible is not just the name of an individual. Every name you see in the Bible is a spiritual pathway that if followed will produce a kind of believer. Are we together? So when you see Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Mary, Samson, all of these names in the Bible, they are names of individuals, but in those names are also spiritual pathways that if followed will produce a kind of believer. Are we together now? So the name Abraham is the name of an individual, but that name is also a capture of a spiritual pathway that can turn anybody to become a father of nations. So the Bible says, look unto Abraham your father. Are we together now? Look unto him does not mean just see him. No. Are we together? So, when you see Sarah, Isaac, Jacob, all of these, lay your hands on your head and declare that your name will be a pathway to knowing God. Go ahead and pray. Declare it from the depth of your heart. Lord, in my lifetime, my name will also be a spiritual pathway that will help men to know God in a certain way. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. So if you understand what I said now, you will know that Jabez, look up please. Jabez was not just the name of a person. Jabez is a capture of how men can turn the tides of curses, of yokes, of ill speakings to become a life of honor and dignity and grace. Are we together now? So the whole story here is not just a revelation of a young man who was seemingly cursed by his mother, who found his way out to glory. No, there is a spiritual pathway. 
And this is what I want you to get. So number one, the prayer of Jabez. Give us verse 9. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Who taught, okay, verse 10. Who taught Jabez, excuse me, who taught Jabez that the cure for the curse, the cure for a life of limitation, is that in all you're getting, when you are tired of going around life, when you are tired of failure, among the many things that must be introduced to your life is the blessing. Is someone learning now? Not just counsel, not just some money, not just assistance, the blessing. In Genesis 12, 2 to 3, 12, 2 to 3. Genesis 12, 2 to 3. It says, and I will make thee a great nation. Someone shout amen. amen. And I will bless thee, hallelujah, and make thy name great. Amen. It says, and thou shalt be a blessing. Amen. Thou shalt, hold on. It's one thing to be blessed, but your blessing is not complete until you become a blessing. So when Jabez is saying, bless me, He's saying, empower me with the capacity to, number one, have personal results by the empowerment of the Spirit, and then to become an extension of your blessing to my world. Someone say, bless me. Bless me, bless me does not mean give me money. No. Bless me does not mean give me a job. Mm -mm. The blessing of the Lord, you see, is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit. Listen carefully. The blessing of the Lord is really the ministry of the Holy Spirit. But there is a dimension of his operation that can cause him to rest upon a man. Watch this now. He can rest upon a man huh, in power. And what happens to that man is that when that blessing is upon you, it has an attracting force. This is how it works literally it begins to attract three things to your life number one it attracts men number two it attracts circumstances circumstances are living things they can be attracted to you are we together and then number three it can attract opportunities is someone learning? Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Someone say, bless me. Bless me. Ah, bless me. Place upon my life that which attracts men. Place upon my life that which attracts circumstances. Place upon my life that which attracts opportunities. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying. Place upon my life. In the name of Jesus, when your life is barren of helpers, it is that the blessing of the Lord is not upon you. If your life is barren of opportunities, favorable opportunities, not negative opportunities, it is that you have not experienced the blessing of the Lord. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Now, please look up. Look up. Here's how many people pray. Lord, bless my job. That is not wrong. But that is a very inferior spiritual approach. Lord, bless my, my work. Bless my business. That is wonderful. But the real person to be blessed is you. Are we together now? Because when you are blessed, everything that flows from you also flows with the blessing that is on you. Are we together now? Your business can be blessed and yet you are not blessed. Yes, sir. The prayer is not just bless my business, not just bless my work. Jabez said, bless me. If I say bless my house, what if I leave that house? 
bless me so that I become a living extension of this 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 mysterious spiritual force that can come upon an individual listen I want you to know I have taught you and I will keep teaching you that what you attract to your life is a function of what is upon your head it is not a function of what is available it is a function of what is upon your head so someone can step into a city like Abuja here and in Abuja there are all kinds of things demonic activities in Abuja there are all kinds of things the manifestation of favor but regardless look up please let me have your attention regardless what the situation is one thing is sure for a fact that what is upon you is what will select the situations that will come to you there are people as soon as they show up in this land you know what happens their helpers start gravitating towards them somebody who would have traveled is kept back it is the blessing keeping the person back to make sure the person must meet with you but there are others as soon as you land in a place the one last person to help you feels an urge to leave that place the person did not just leave something upon you is controlling the possibilities around you I'm saying this because for some of you this is why God brought you here you change your cloth, it does not change. You change your job, it does not change. You change friends, it does not change. You change neighborhood, it does not change. What should change is what is on your head, not what is around you. Apostle, why is this business not working? I thought it was because I had wrong partners. I brought other partners. Why is this, not, this church not growing? I thought it was a location. Now we've gotten a bigger place. No that thou wouldest bless me. Someone again say, bless me. Bless me. Bless me. Listen, when it was time for Abraham to bless his sons, the Bible says to all the sons that came from his concubines, he gave gifts, physical things. Then he called Isaac and said, Isaac, I'm not going to give you anything physical. What I'm going to give you is something on your head. And when I place that, you can go. I'm sure Isaac would have felt, what kind of unfair thing is this? You've given people cattle. <laughs> that, it was because of that blessing. The Bible says, and Isaac sowed in that land. Lay your hands again and say, bless me. <laughs> bless me in the name of Jesus Christ. When I learned this, I, st I stopped chasing shadows and chasing mundane things. When you have a good job without the blessing, it can leave you overnight. You have a good house without the blessing. Something can come and happen to you. You can relocate without the blessing, you will still get into trouble. You can change clothes without the blessing, you will still be in trouble. For many of you, the Lord sent you here tonight because this mysterious grace that has come upon ordinary people and began to rewrite their lives. You know what it means for a man to be blessed? Empowered by the Spirit, insisting that you must prosper, not dependent on the economy. No. You can know the blessing and know that it is upon a man because everywhere you go, you define your own possibilities. You are never subject to the situations and circumstances. And I want you to believe this. I'm not just, this is not just a preacher's talk. You don't believe this. The reality that is plaguing our world today will catch up with you. He said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. You curse a man that God has blessed, you are only wasting your time. Yes. Remember when Balaam was when Balaam was called to curse the nation of Israel, when he stood to curse them, he said, there is a formation. These people are already blessed. No matter what you say, they cannot be cursed. For someone in the name of Jesus, as a result of what is resting on your head, no matter what the enemy does, they will only be wasting their time. In the name of Jesus. Oh, uh, where do you keep this now? No, no, just keep it. Maybe I should just take a sip. And then I can continue. So I'm not. Thank you. Thank you. Are we together? Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Genesis 25. Let me show you something. Five and six. Genesis 25, five and six. 
and Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac <laughs> verse 6 but unto the sons of the concubines he gave what did you see that now he gave the children gifts I'm sure they were dancing this one gave me a car this one gave me an estate and then he calls Isaac and says Isaac I'm not giving you anything go to verse 5 he says I want to give you everything I have that means he did not consider everything that left him as part of him because the Bible says he gave it are you, are you Bible students so every the cars the houses the cattle he called those ones gifts he said I want to give you everything I have kneel down and he placed something on his life and said if I never meet you again you cannot be a failure go listen God has sent me after the order of Abraham this night that in the name of Jesus the son of the living God for everyone who has been changing every other thing and everything has refused to change may the blessing rest upon you may the blessing rest upon you please sit down you see let me tell you sincerely there are many people who talk about the blessing but there are few people actually carrying it the blessing is not a doctrine it's not a subject of discussion it's not just an intellectual debate it is either on you or it is not and if it is on you it shows when God made man Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 the first thing that he said the first word that man heard from the lips of God the Bible says verse 28 now it says and when God made man the Bible says and God blessed them say bless them he didn't say God gave them instructions he blessed them be fruitful was not an instruction it was a blessing he didn't say God told them to be fruitful no it would be evil for God to tell them to be fruitful because fruitfulness requires empowerment multiplication requires empowerment replenishing requires empowerment to subdue requires empowerment having dominion requires empowerment so for God to have told them go and be fruitful that would be unfair the Bible says he blessed them he blessed them hmm. he blessed them have you been blessed to get a job or were you just instructed to get a job have you been blessed to do business or were you just advised to do business have you been blessed to prosper or were you just counseled by a financial advisor it's a different thing to be counseled it's a different thing to be advised it's a different thing to be encouraged you see the way the city is now um, just try business that is an advice that is not the blessing it is one many people have been advised into the things they are doing now and that's the reason why they labor and labor and labor and there is no result please believe me on this there are people who were advised to do ministry and they sincerely went with all their hearts and Jabez said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. The second thing I want you to know is not everyone can bless you. He was not talking to everybody in this prayer. Because I can imagine that Jabez would have encountered so many people in his life. Like many of you may have it, it met many people. Not everybody can bless you. Please listen carefully. Only careers of the blessing can truly bless you. I hope this does not sound like arrogance. It is the truth. There were many widows in Zarephath, but the Bible says to none was Elijah sent. That means other people had encouraged her, and yet they were carriers. When Elijah met her, he said, Do not be afraid. Your oil, your, your, your water will not be spent. Your bread will not dry up. Just make me a morsel of bread and let me eat. Careers of the blessing. Careers of the blessing. You cannot carry the blessing and not know. No. There is no assumption. It is there or it is not there. And you know the presence of the blessing because it is able to attract to your life regardless the economy regardless the demonic tide it doesn't matter whether Satan is in your area or not the blessing does not factor Satan 
it acts as though he's not there listen this is what the saints carried this is what people like David carried that they could make boastful statements supposedly that yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I fear no evil someone say the blessing I assure you by God it is not your territory that is disadvantaged I assure you by God it is not because you know some kind of the, no 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 it is that there is something exact that should come on you that for whatever reason if you find that name Jabez around your life sorrow and pain disappointment and shame it looks like nothing of dignity and glory and color comes out of your life the first prayer is not just the casting of demons I'm going to minister deliverance but he's saying oh that thou wouldest bless me second prayer we're still considering that scripture please give it to us media verse 10 now it says and enlarge my coast do you know what it means for your coast to be enlarged psalm 71 and verse 21 i remember about three years or so ago three or two years ago the lord gave me this scripture as a prophetic word when I was stepping into a particular season of my life and how true this word has been thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side someone receive this word for yourself thou shall increase my greatness it's one thing to be great but it's one thing for your greatness to be multiplied it says thou shall increase my greatness and then comfort me on every side because greatness has a side effect if you are not comforted on any side greatness can become a curse to you it says thou shall increase my greatness that means you are never at the same position spiritually and in every other area of your life enlarge my coast enlarge my coast Give me room to find expression. Give me room to reveal Jesus in and through my life. There are many people who are as small as they've always been. No increase financially, no increase spiritually. There are territories that are still as small as you've always met them. You go there and you saw a red biro near the wall in 1981. That red biro is still there. You, you've seen buildings like that you can almost describe there was a stone there when you were a small boy that stone interrupting the junction is still there there is no increase in the name of Jesus I speak to someone whatever has tied you down so that you don't grow so that you don't enlarge I cause it tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost I cause it tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast enlarge my coast enlarge my business enlarge the church you have given me can I tell you this growth is a very powerful sponsor of peace joy happiness and fulfillment one of the six I have taught you here that one of the six indices that measure fulfillment is growth that means you want to know that you are growing and you are making pro progress. You are evolving into superior versions of you and you are covering grounds as far as destiny is concerned. When your life becomes indefinitely stagnated, I assure you, no matter who you are, you do not have a lifetime patience to endure that kind of state. Eventually, you will be worn out like many of us are right now. Enlarge my coast enlarge my coast enlarge my coast enlarge my coast increase me oh God even in the knowledge of God enlarge my coast let me have greater revelations enlarge my coast a greater level of possibilities let me know what else is there to explore number three I like the third one Jesus that thy hand might be with me do you know what this means I wish I had time I would have taught you about what the Bible calls the hand of God because the hand of God is a very deep profound mystery give us first Corinthians first Chronicles 29 I believe first Chronicles 29 
uh, that should be 11 or 12. First Chronicles 29. Yes, 11. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness. Watch this. And the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in the earth is thine. It says, thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Let's read verse 12 together. Ready? One, two, read. Both riches and honor come from thee, and thou reignest over all. It says, and it is in thy And in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. So when the Bible says the hand of God is working with a man, look at what the hand of God carries. It says it is in your hand. Your hand carries power and might. It says in thy hand it is to make great. That means when you see people rising, they did not just rise. There is a hand lifting them up. When you see people make progress, they are not just moving from one direction to the other. There is an invisible hand pushing men. It says, let your hand be with me. Because no matter what I have gotten, if your hand is not with me, it has to be with me as a defense. It has to be with me as a guarantee for continuity. Let your hand be upon me. Then let it be upon the ministry. Then let it be upon my family. Let your hand be upon me. The hand of the Lord is mighty. That is what came upon Elijah. The Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. That means when the hand of the Lord comes upon you, there is speed because Elijah ran. Elijah ran. The hand of God cannot come upon you and you walk. The hand of God cannot come upon you and you crawl. Regardless the limitations, when the hand of the Lord comes upon you, it was the same hand of God that came upon Samson. That the, it came as the spirit of God, mighty upon Samson, the spirit of might. And the Bible says the wax was like, you know, the, the, the chain was like wax before the fire. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Behind the mysterious rising of men, behind the mysterious forceful advancement of men, is an invisible hand moving men. My question is, has that hand come near you to move you? Or are you just moving by the strength of the flesh? Intellectually calculating your way to greatness will be a waste of your time. I assure you, not in this wicked world. There is a hand that moves men. Man of God, hear me. You don't just rise. There is a hand. It's good to plan. But if that hand does not come, you will remain there. You will think you are rising. You will soon find out you are just jumping. You know what it means to jump? To jump means that you rise up with the guarantee that you are coming down. That's what it means to jump. The hand of God. Maybe there's a man of God here. Maybe there's a family here that really needs the hand of God. You have tried to move forward. You had a family meeting. It's time for us to go forward. Maybe a board meeting in your business. It's time to go forward. Maybe as a pastor, it's time to go forward. It takes more than a decision. A decision is powerful. But I am telling you, behind the mysterious motion of men, the speed of men, the consistency of men, is the invisible hand of this great God. I want you, if you can, listen to my teaching series. I preached it somewhere in the East, Helped by God. Please go and listen to it. I showed three ways there that God helps men. Number one, the ministry of mercy. Number two, the gift of men. Number three, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. This is how God helps men. The hand of God. Let the hand of God come upon that family and you will watch weak people that look like they will never rise step by step. Someone will leave the village and go to the town and come back after six months as if you went to meet a herbalist because the helper, that hand that can move men. Now, watch this. If you ask me to lift this up, what part of my body am I going to use? Is that true? And if I am limited, I will need another hand and another hand and another hand either many small hands or one big hand 
Are we together now? Yes. I'm not going to use my mouth to lift this. I'm not going to use my feet to lift this. So if your destiny is to be lifted, there is a hand. Unfortunately, your hand cannot lift you. Logically, can you hold yourself and lift yourself? Bazanji Soropa. Bazanji Kunyaba. That means in order to bring you down, the devil must bring the hand that has lifted you. Most people don't know how mighty the hand of God is. Our little children used to sing a song, he's got the whole world in his hands. That sounds like a special number. The whole world in his hands. And yet that hand comes to pick you. Ah, Jesus said, all that you have given me, I have kept, kept in my hands and none is lost except the son of perdition. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying this because God is speaking to someone prophetically. You have come here looking like nothing. You have come here as you, you have become an object of people's discussion. When they are bored and they want to talk of somebody as a pity story, your name is what comes up. But I want you to find faith because there is an invisible hand the hand of Jehovah that has lifted ordinary men, ordinary people in ministry, in business, that hand will so lift you after this meeting in the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down. I hope you believe what I'm saying. So the next time you see people mysteriously lifted, guarded, mysteriously making progress, don't ask how it happened. Now you know. Jabez said, if your hand does not come, the kind of pit I found myself in, as a result of the curse of my mother, there is no way out. Ah. You are Ebenezer. You are Ebenezer. The lifter of men. You are Ebenezer. You see, you can doubt a healing miracle and say, was the person really healed? You can doubt some kind of miracle and say, how are you sure? How are you sure the growth disappeared? But you cannot doubt transformation. That someone who came, you, you used to know him, a carpenter's son now riding in glory you used to know that lady you used to know that family with the proverb Ichabod upon them and then the mighty hand of God if you do not believe God lifts men then um, you are going to have to live a life of pain because it is in your believing that you allow that hand to come and lift you but let me tell you ladies and gentlemen this God you see is not only a blesser he's a lifter hallelujah oh that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast and that your hand will be with me that your hand will be with me that your hand will be with me i like the last part listen now this is the word for this miracle service it says and that thou wouldest keep me in fact go to give us amplified and let's see what amplified says i want to read the last part and i want you to really understand it says and you would keep me from evil so that it might not hurt me you will keep me from evil because one of the things i'm sure that i've taught you here is that with every lifting with every mantle, with every grace, come challenges. There are many of us, God has not answered our prayer for lifting because you do not yet understand the dynamics of preserving greatness. Greatness will attract anything and everything, including Satan. As soon as Jesus was announced, he went to the wilderness and Satan left everything he was doing on earth and went and waited in the wilderness patiently for 40 days 
until he was done and Satan began to tempt him Satan is attracted to glory Satan is attracted to greatness so when it looks like your family has not been attacked it's because he believes you are under bondage but let God begin to lift you who is this rising from the east from the west who is this rising from the north the south I thought this was a family of idol worship who is this prophet that is rising who is this lady in the order of Deborah I thought women don't rise in this family who is this one breaking a hundred year protocol most people like anointing and impartation for greatness and they do not know that the moment the mantle of greatness comes upon you you become a prey you become a principal point of attack are we together now this is very important everything around you begins to fight you in your workplace Joseph was a young man who had a dream and it was clear that greatness was on his way to his life and the Bible says because the father gave him a coat of many colors even his brothers fought him he went down to the pit and went down to Potiphar's house went down to the prison but that greatness once that hand is upon you even from the prison is still took him to the palace are we together now this is very important some of you have tasted greatness but you are almost running away from it now because you did not access the defense dimension of the blessing there is a defense dimension that the blessing brings upon a man when you are blessed you have to be defended how many of you put your um, gold or whatever jewelries and just put it in a plate and drop it outside do you see that happen you have a jewelry box am I right on that and sometimes we have all kinds of safes with different layers of security you put it there and lock it then tie it then lock it then hide it again <laughs> so when the Bible says that Jabez was praying and said Lord make sure that in everything you are thank you for your hand but please do not allow evil prevail over me the psalmist said unto thee O Lord do I lift up my soul he said oh my God in you I trust let me not be ashamed let not my enemies triumph over me you know it as a song but it was a desperate declaration of a man who knew that greatness is always surrounded by evil did you hear what I said let your family begin to rise and you see what happens who is this woman to rise who is this man to rise what can we do to bring him down what can we do to bring her down if we can't get him can we try the children but in the name of Jesus I declare over someone here the devil will only waste his time as far as bringing you down is concerned men will only waste their time as far as bringing you down is concerned hallelujah now when you rise by compromise you will be afraid of your position but when it is the hand of God that lifts you he stands behind you as a mighty terrible one in other words let me see the person who will change the story of this family negatively again let me see the person who will stop this family from rising again hallelujah when I began to pray and I heard that word Jabez 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 three times I knew exactly what the Lord was saying in that statement to me God was saying who is available for me to bless I want to bless somebody and make that person a spectacle a blessing in ministry that people will sit down and say ah it's not jealousy but my God you mean God can do this with a man God can do this with a business God can do this with the people did your Bible not say I and the children that the Lord has given to me it says we are for signs and for wonders do you believe that I believe this oh, with all my heart that for the rest of your life every week is an episode of signs and wonders through your life And enlarge my coast 
that by next week someone will come and say apostle look at the doors that open in one week strategic connections strategic opportunities whether in ministry or in business and that thou wouldest bless me enlarge my coast and let your hand be upon me moving me moving me from place to place is that same hand that moves men from May to June it's not time that moves men time can be passing and you are in one place it is the hand that moves you the hand that moves you moves you some of you you are in May now but in the realm of the spirit the truth is that you are still in 2017 you are still in 2018. I, I hope you know that time can pass, but you don't pass with time. You are still remaining there. So physically, you are in 2023, but in the realm of the spirit, the date there that is matched to your life and your reality is many, many years back. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored The only way to explain restoration for you is how they pay workers a real salary. That's the only way I know to help you understand. Have you seen someone that perhaps for 10 years had been old and they were still dragging in court finally the judge gives a verdict and says pay this person back dates the payment from 2010 to 2023 and the institution stands there they don't want to do it but the judge has given his verdict in the name of jesus for certain of you here within the time that we have and I'm, I'm not just joking i'm not entertaining you that god will see from what point satan started attacking your family and there are things he will carry from there in the name of jesus christ some of you it will be before you were even born that the spirit of god who's listen the bible says righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne that God will begin to backdate certain prophetic things, certain blessings and mantles and graces and open doors. Hallelujah. And there are some of you who have experienced the help of God in many ways, but you came for this miracle service so that God will answer the last part of the prayer because the attacks around your life the physical ones are the least because if you know that someone is standing near you you can do something but what if you don't know how will you know that the kiss of Judas was a sign of death I know that when an enemy stands with a sword I know he has come to fight but how do you fight someone who came to kiss you don't you know there is another kind of sword that comes from the mouth not from the hands the bible calls it the scourging tongues of men job he said in five things god would deliver you there are arrows that fly by day there are noisome pestilences there are destructions listen please look up i know people that the moment god lifted they woke up one morning and one mysterious pain just when he became a director headache this morning next tomorrow the right eye cannot see in the name of jesus every covenant every coven every demonic orchestration against your life by fire it goes down this night hear me can i tell you one of the greatest ways that satan attacks great men is through sickness most of you don't know sickness is hardly a condition of people who are rising in life those who are rising in life hardly fall sick not because they are healthy because at that point sickness as a weapon will not profit the devil listen carefully i hope that we'll have a series on 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 supernatural healing and health and i will teach you something 
do you notice that most people who have not really made it satan will hardly use the weapon of sickness because it does not really profit him the real assignment of sickness is to bring down great people read your bible find out those who were sick in the bible and you will see job the greatest man from the east when satan tested him are we together now yes the moment people become great the devil knows that at this point you probably will have security people protecting you so attacking you from that angle will not profit him he knows that probably you have influence there are many things money can do but he knows there is something money cannot do and this fiery darts with all the hell things you see someone will just wake up and they will tell you that there is something growing inside his brain within two weeks it has become the size of a golf ball Are we together now? That's why the psalmist said, I lay me down and I slept. He said, I wait for the Lord sustain me. That means it's one thing to sleep oh, as a great man. And it's another thing to wake up. Because when men sleep, many things happen. Satan comes to plant. Hold on. He, he only plants tears among wheat. He does not plant tears on an empty farm. That means if your life does not have color and nothing is growing there, Satan does not come to plant anything there. He waited until the labor of the farmer was now speaking. He waited until the company was rising. He waited until the ministry was now blossoming. He waited until the children were now becoming teenagers, ready to carry the family name. Aha! The moment Satan sees wheat, be careful, he's coming. He's also a farmer, he can farm. I'm saying this so that you can take whatever you want to take. But let me tell you, if it is an attack, that's why we pray for people to be healed. It is more than just showing that a man of God is anointed. There are many, many sicknesses that medical science can deal with it. That is not really the concern, we can pray for you. If you have headache and you can take Panadol and you are fine, you've made our job easier. But we are dealing with the ones that you go to the hospital, the demonic headache that does not answer to Panadol. Because that one is not stress. That one is, is your name being mentioned somewhere. That why will this man rise? Instead of attacking 30 people in that family, attack this man and let him die. Listen, in the book of Esther, in the book of Esther, sit down for a moment. In the book of Esther, some of you didn't even know you were standing. In the book of Esther, watch this. The Bible says, you saw Haman just as a faithful administration, an administrator. But Haman was a wizard. Haman was not an administrator. He was a wizard. There was a connection between Haman and Vashti. When Vashti left, it weakened Haman, but did not destroy him. Because Haman had won the heart of the king. And when you read your Bible, the day they were to strike the nation of Israel, Haman used divination to get the date. They, they, they conjured the elements, elemental forces. What day will it be to strike these people? But then they said, okay, now that we have it, who and who should we kill? Let me tell you what, what Haman's plan was. Haman's plan was first to start with Mordecai. Then after he's, he's done with Mordecai, don't think Esther will be spared. Esther would have been the next. After Esther, then the king himself will be the final one. He was already eyeing the king because when the king asked him and said, what should be done to this man? He said, aha, uh -huh. let him wear the king's robe, ride on the king's horse. What else is left? It's only to sit on the king's palace. That means he was eyeing that I'm coming. Let me first finish with her man. Let me show you how Satan attacks. He does not attack the Jews like that. He first goes to Mordecai because it was through Mordecai Esther came. Then when he's done with Mordecai, he would destroy Esther. Then destroy the king, then become king. So when you see the devil wanting to strike the family, he's not stupid. He will not come and strike everyone. There is a way of gauging people's advancement in the spirit. What one person can we hit in this family that will be the same thing as hitting everybody?
That's why some of you did not prepare to come for this miracle service. But God pushed you by his spirit and said, Come, oh, you don't know what June is going to be like. Come and sit down and access grace. Let these devils be driven out. Oh, we have been anointed to do this. Listen, let me tell you, in the name of Jesus, not one strange spirit will be spared tonight. You hear of the testimonies that happen here. Listen, testimonies happen when the spirits that are behind these tragedies give way. Are we together now? protect me Jesus in teaching us what we call the Lord's Prayer he said our Father which art in heaven hallowed be your name he said your kingdom come your will be done in F as it is in heaven then he says give us this day our daily bread next prayer he says lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil he didn't say deliver me it's a corporate thing if you pray for deliverance for yourself alone tonight you are selfish deliver us because in Africa if you are free alone you are not truly free do you agree with me deliver us from evil deliver us who are the us my company my family the ministry deliver us from evil deliver us from evil I've had the honor and the privilege of praying for people and sometimes even though I've seen this for many years I'm in shock and wonder at how easy it is Satan can bring down great people if there is no spiritual and human force in partnership with God that stands as a defense for them you see you can rejoice and say my business is doing well go and read your Bible and see how sudden it is that men go down are we together the worst of is when Satan tries and nothing can happen as you sleep that's the end of it I remember a lady who sent me a text some time ago that she was sleeping in the night and physically she felt physically what she told me a hand came and held her neck you know how you are strangling someone and she was gasping for breath till she woke up like that shouting Jesus Jesus and nothing happened and she woke up literally felt a presence and it left What do you think demons are doing now? If you were a demon, just as an example, please. If, if you were a demon, what will you be doing now to be efficient? Just think. Will you be, you are, yes, you are sent to everybody. But if you were a demon and you want to be productive, what is the wisest approach? To waste your time running around everybody on the streets? Or to settle down and fashion weapons? The Bible says no weapon fashion. Do you know what it means to fashion? To fashion means to study what you will use that weapon for. So if you were a demon, will you just see someone on the street and start following him? What is your name? Can I attack you? No. You find out. Okay, I have an assignment to attack 10,000 people. But out of those 10,000 people, who are the top three that I can bring down first to make my work easy? It is always the strategy of Satan. He looks for the strongest and brings down. That means if you came here tonight, it's because the hand of God has perceived you as the strongest somewhere that the devil wants to attack and God is bringing you, some of you, for the sake of your family members so that you are strengthened, you are delivered, empowered and sent back as an agent with fire and with grace. You believe this and let me tell you we're going to do a very quick work tonight if there is no time to take testimonies no problem but I I my heart is burdened because when the Lord told me Jabez that means at the end of it honor and glory is what must come out of your life this night <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the Lord Don't sit back and allow the devil wreck your destiny, wreck the destinies of those around you and say it does not matter. I just know that one day it go better. God is a good God. He will change things. The Bible says Jabez cried unto the Lord. 
when you become passive you become very very sorry for want of word become very um very organized there is there is a desperation that you must carry the desperation of hannah the desperation of gideon the desperation of jabez have you seen a woman going to give birth and she's interested in her makeup that just when the child is about to come and say sorry I, I i just need to make sure that you know this one is in place can i have a last look at myself huh have you seen that happen there is a desperation the woman with the issue of blood said this is not the issue of shame i'm tired of this nonsense i will cry it i will touch the head of his garment let me be punished later but for now there are some of you who are not yet angry enough sincerely i'm telling you you are still organized this saying well the poverty situation is not so bad at least we can borrow money now you are owing more than 10 million it started from 10,000 naira and the devil is an expert in growing it before you know it you see that your whole destiny has been given to the company you are owing is that not what happened to the wife of the sons of the prophet remember you think that she started by they were going to take her children as collateral your children there does not just represent your physical child whatever it is that can make for continuity of your destiny satan can use things around your life and force you to carry your future and pay for today with it I'm, I'm, I'm planting a holy anger in you so that when it's time to pray and it's time to receive, you will do what Jabez did. Tonight is not just to shout amen. My job is to release grace with you and stand in faith with you. But you have a responsibility for God's sake to pray in holy anger. Give us that scripture. Verse 10. The Bible says, and God, and God, granted him that which he requested god granted him not that which he has been admiring in others not that which he, he wants passively i know it but it's just between me and god <clears throat> blind Bartimeo said thou son of david i don't care who else is hearing it have mercy on me and the people said keep quiet you are the one who knows the heart you are the one who knows what lack of employment has done to you. You are the one who, you, you know, it's always, it's often said that the person wearing the shoes is the one who knows where it is hurting. So when it's time to pray, don't just stand and be organized and say, well, I, I know I, I don't want people to see me. Let camera not pass me. You have to deal with certain things once and for all. This spirit of death that I'm always seeing in my dreams, tonight is the time to deal with it. I, I, I reject untimely death. But just say, no, it will not come. If that is a joke. You are going to have to place aggression this door that opens for others but just when it gets to me that door closes somebody was supposed to sign something on your table and just because he turned to discuss a wind just pushed all the files and they can't find it again and that becomes fine what kind of satanic thing is that and you are here keeping quiet and he said it does not matter he will find it one day the same wind that pushed it must push it back was it not the east wind that blew that abba Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm planting a holy anger in you. Father, you gave me five children. The devil is already taking two. I assure you, Satan's plan is not to take two. It's to take all. He took one and you kept quiet. The Bible says in the early church, watch this, the book of Acts. When Satan took James and the church kept quiet, they didn't do anything about it. He said, ah, the Bible says he proceeded further and he now took Peter and the church said no more. The Bible says the church gathered together and began to pray. The same angels that rescued Peter were still there when James was dying, but because there was silence and they did not pray. The same angels that would deliver your family today, they've always been there. It's just that you've not given it the kind of aggression. hallelujah listen let me tell you something someone once asked me a question i say apostle 
what does it take to build a global ministry like this? And I looked at him with compassion. I said, which part of the answer now am I going to give this person? One of it is a testimony in the spirit that you have mastered the art of keeping evil forces at bay. When physical victory manifests, it's because that victory has been established in the spirit. Please hear me. It is not when your job manifests that God answered you. <clears throat> when you deal with it in the realm of the spirit and it's finished, you will find out that you can wake up in the morning. That's why you see people come for service and sometimes they are ministered to. There are a few people who may walk back, maybe they, their healing has started and they did not feel anything, you know, and they may feel disappointed. You hear them testify that they went home and slept and woke up because once it is done in the realm of the spirit, that is it. Goliath died in the realm of the spirit. David killed Goliath before he met him there. And he said, Mr. Man, you are standing just as a mass of interruption. I'm going to bring you down even with a stone. So when we are going to pray now, please, I want you to pray with seriousness. There are things that you wrote. There are sicknesses in your body. Can I tell you, we are in the days where headache can become cancer, thanks to demons. You will feel a little headache, something that you will just say, ah, it's paining me. The next time the pain goes to this side, then it goes to another place unconnected. I'm not a doctor, but you will know this is a demon spirit. You hear people telling you there's something roaming around my body. Have you heard people say that? It starts from my head. You know how hard it is to move around your body. Even God had to put veins and arteries and here is a demon spirit walking around freely until you stop it by the power of the Holy Ghost. How about businesses that are going down? From January, your business has been going down and you've just been watching it. Thank God for principles. Listen, we are people of principles and we're intelligent people, but we are people who place superior honor to the realm of the spirit. The physical realm is a child, a slave, helpless slave to the realm of the spirit. If you do not deal with things spiritually, whatever effort you are making physically is a total waste of time. I assure you. If you're in ministry here as a man of God, it is not just by invitation, poster, social media. Those are physical things and they are profitable. The real victory is in the realm of the spirit. Apostle, why is it that people do not like me? I'm a sincere person. Every time someone wants to help me, they seem to forget. You think they make themselves forget? There are wicked spirits. What do you think made the wine presser to forget Joseph? and added two more years one man's forgetfulness added another man's pain hallelujah how about someone who just received some money that should bless the family and wipe their tears and all of a sudden three people went down somebody needs a surgery five million another person needs a surgery eight million another person has a mysterious sickness that we must fly the person to uk to check you calculate everything is the exact same money you collected someone just wants to help you and the devil will masquerade and use certain faces in the dream to now come and appear as an angel of light and say don't help this person that person is carrying a familiar spirit and your destiny helper gets up in the morning in fear because the devil used your face or used something else with money and you find out that uh, let me tell you africa especially is a place where people respect the realm of the spirit someone can be a very intelligent person he goes to bed and the devil just uses your face you come with a knife in the dream supposedly to kill the person the person stands up and says, oh, so this is my enemy. You go to the office the next day. Good afternoon, sir. You are leaving this job now. What did I do? No, before you kill me, I will kill you. Both of you are innocent. There is a spirit joining. This thing has happened even between husband and wife. Have you seen it happen? That a man will go to sleep. A wicked spirit will use the face of the wife. And the man gets up and says, no, no way. Not in this house. And the devil is just standing, stealing, killing, destroying. In the name of Jesus, tonight by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Paraka karate kasana katabalaka. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit masquerading through situations and circumstances, 
to abort the glory of God in your life goes down this night goes down this night goes down this night the same way the Lord can make it happen that someone goes to bed and suddenly he has a dream and it's about you and the person is thirsty and you are bringing water the person gets up in the morning and says you you got a job in this company when two weeks ago come you are promoted to my PA what happened I had a dream oh, and I saw you giving me water and in my mind I interpret it to mean you're a good person ah, life do you know I really feel sorry for people who downplay the realm of the spirit I'm a person of principles there are it's not all about just demons and the realm of the spirit but let me tell you in order of priority the physical realm came as the child of the realm of the spirit that means for anything physical it is only the after effect of something that has been settled in the spirit do you know a true story and then we'll begin to pray one time the Lord opened my eyes and I saw something I saw someone who in the realm of the spirit he had already died but in the physical he was still walking he was still alive but in the realm of the spirit like this person has been buried in a coffin over now that person will be walking yet not knowing that you've been finished anything can kill you including a bike you just see that the bike pass and just hit someone and he fell down and they say both bones broke someone fell children go to pluck mango from a tree they fall from that tree and clean themselves and stand up and climb again and yet someone just fell from a bike and both of his bones you think that is just a fall listen we are god gave us a mind to think but let's be careful so that we do not allow the devil cheat us by just folding our arms when you see evil call it for what it is and deal with it by the blood ah, what is this pain that i'm having mysterious pain and the devil says cancer like it happened to your father like it happened to this and said no it will not happen to me i went to school that's not how the realm of the spirit works you stand there listen there is a way you open fire at the devil huh you have drawn a line anything you permit will grow hear me anything you permit will grow you permit failure it grows you permit the spirit of death it takes one step towards your house you turn back in the name of jesus christ this is how believers are taught to maintain victory hallelujah apostle but you know the truth is that the way after the pandemic it affected everybody my business has gone down till tomorrow i agree and i sympathize with you but do you know that for your business to come back it is going to take the favor of god the blessing like i taught the ministry of men have you called the men no i'm sure that god will just make it happen whereas somebody in the midst of that pandemic held on to the horns of the altar and shouted the door for his new level to open up I don't know who is angry in this place tonight but in the name of Jesus I came here to release my faith with you that anything that does not name the name of Christ it must live your life now please open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus the son of the living God my life must be a capture of victory total victory total deliverance total liberation he who the son sets free is free indeed by the power of the holy ghost someone is praying every mysterious sickness roaming around my body i curse you by the god of heaven spirit of death i call you by your name and i banish you from my life banish you from my family banish you from my business someone is praying Oh, 
Shade Kakos Shata Palakos Krapakata Katos Kata Fratekatesh Krante Kaperekos Kata Prandeke Balakos Yata Alleluia Alleluia Hallelujah Now I'm going to lead you to pray the prayer that Jabez prayed Number one it says, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. As I mention them, I will lead you to pray. This is the miracle service. I want you to participate. If you want to hold hands with someone to encourage you, that is, you, you can do that. But by all means, any spirit of slumber that wants you to sleep or just fold your arms and watch people is cheating you. Say in the name of Jesus, Father, I decree and declare that by mercy let your blessing rest upon me let your blessing rest upon me rest upon my family open your mouth and begin to pray the blessing of the Lord that make it rich and added no sorrow the blessing of the Lord that causes a man to prevail Oh, that thou wouldest bless me, bless me, bless me. I activate the blessing upon my life. I activate the blessing. I decree and declare, blessed in the city, blessed in the country, blessed in Abuja, blessed in Lagos, blessed in the United Kingdom, blessed in South Africa, blessed in the United States in the name of Jesus man of God pray pray the blessing of the Lord pray it upon your spirit pray it upon your children now pray it upon the works of your hands blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the country blessed shall be your needing trough go ahead and pray outside make sure you are praying all the overflows make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus the blessing is upon me 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 speaking loud and clear speaking loud and clear speaking louder than any curse speaking that louder than any demonic thing minutes you are praying shateke pakato safras katabekata kaprateke parako shagates the blessing is upon me prospering the works of my hands the blessing is upon me manifesting as signs and wonders the blessing is upon me turning me into a mysterious sign and wonder Blessing is upon me. Someone pray. Shaleke peketos kata frendeke parusiata. Embra kato kapres kate peketos. Sobanto shodo balekatos. Ibra to seveze kate belekatos yata. For in Jesus' name we pray. Ah! For in Jesus' name we pray. I tell you things are shifting in the spirit now watch this do you know what allowed the flood to come what allowed the flood to come was that the blessing was withdrawn and was only it was completely withdrawn and that was the only possibility for the flood to come so when the flood was over watch this now when the flood was over the flood of noah now remember everything and everyone except noah his wife the three sons and their wives and the animals that were in the ark am i right on that these were the only things that were alive you find that noah came out 
and then Noah reared an altar. You find that in Genesis chapter 8 and verse 21 and 22. He, he carried some of the animals that were left. Some of the animals came two by two. Some of the animals came seven by seven. You will see that even some that were left, Noah still slaughtered them and they died. But watch what happened. When God wanted the earth to increase again, give us Genesis chapter 9 and verse 1. I want to show you the power of the blessing. What did God do to Noah? Same thing he did to Adam. You see, and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, be fruitful. Does that sound like something he had said before? Multiply. That means every time God sees small things, what he does to increase them is to make this same thing. Keep this scripture there because this is going to be your prayer. That means in God's mind, what it means to be blessed is to be fruitful. What it means to be blessed is to multiply. What it means to be blessed is to replenish. You are not blessed in God's mind until he sees fruitfulness, until he sees multiplication, until he sees the ability to replenish and to subdue. This is God's idea. Every time you hear him speaking a blessing, he will break it down and say, this is my idea of being blessed. Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. Are you ready to pray? We are still praying the blessing prayer. Say, Father, Father. as a result of the blessing, that is upon me I speak to my destiny be fruitful multiply and replenish open your mouth and begin to pray I am blessed blessed to be fruitful blessed to multiply nothing remains small in my life but the Spirit of God and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Koinonia and all those connected to her by prophecy and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Noah and his sons God bless Noah and his sons. You can call the name of your children. You can call the name of every company, everyone who is under your care. Declare upon them, be fruitful, multiply, be fruitful, multiply, replenish. Replenish. Replenish, replenish. Replenish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next prayer. I'm telling you something is shifting in your life. He said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. You want to understand this? Let's go to Isaiah 54 from verse 1 and 3. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that did not travail with child. He said, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, said the Lord. Verse 2, it says, enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtain of thy habitation. Spare not and lengthen thy cord and strengthen thy stakes why verse 3 hallelujah for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited look at me do you know what it means to be enlarged 
To be enlarged means to grow. That's how we grow. Is that true? We grow through enlargement. There are people who, respectfully speaking, I got to find out a few cases where some people remain children even in their, as adults. You still see them like children, like babies. It's a medical condition that people remain literally, you look at them, their face, nothing changes. There is no growth. There is no enlargement. Yet some of them are 25, 30 years, and they are still, they have the voice of children, everything around them. And when we talk of enlargement, we're not just talking of physical growth, financial growth, spiritual growth. The level of grace you've been functioning on for 10 years is still the same. The level of favor is still the same. Did the Bible not say grace and peace can be multiplied? Are you ready to pray that prayer of enlargement? That Father, I'm tired of being at this level for a long time. Enlarge me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Spiritually. This level of my prayer life, this level of my word study life, someone is praying, enlarge me by the spirit of the living God. Enlarge me in ministry. Enlarge me. Shapakato parakato shafragates. Krasagata farasko sebelegos. Embrakato shafrandes kalebash. Krateke belegates sefraskati balakos yata. Enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge koinonia, enlarge koinonia, enlarge my spiritual life, enlarge every aspect of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Shabrekate pekatoska frateke parusiata, kaprekate peleko sate fraskate peledusiata. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Don't be tired, you'll soon sit down. But listen, please look at me. What is the difference between a one room and a duplex? What is the difference? Space. Am I right on that? What is the difference between a great duplex and a mansion, as you call it? Space. What you can do in a one room, what you cannot do in a one room, you are able to do it in a duplex. Am I right on that? Now, just respectfully speaking, if you have one room, everything is there. The kitchen is there. The whatever is there. Are we together? Smallness has the characteristic effect of constraint. It does not give you the opportunity to be efficient. Are we together now? So, imagine that you move from one room to a two-bedroom now you can convert one maybe to be a library one to be a guest room have you seen people now respectfully speaking have you seen for instance say a couple a husband and a wife and maybe two children and all they have is one room you've seen what happens in the night the father is constrained maybe he even has to sleep on a chair for the wife and maybe the children and maybe the little baby you see that now did you not read in your bible that Solomon was judging a case of two prostitutes where because of the constraint of space they slept on their visions and one killed they killed their children because of lack of space let me tell you enlargement is a blessing what 10,000 cannot do 1 million can do are we together now yes oh mama needs to be treated and the bill is 200,000 and that innocent woman is about to die because all you have is 10,000. But when God enlarges you, you have more space. You can even be a blessing. What this level of anointing can do, cannot do, this level of anointing can do. Are we together now? Yes. This level of anointing can only lead you to pastor 50 members. Not to insult, but that is what it can do. It cannot bring you a global ministry this way. No. No, you cannot put the tire of a tricycle on a tractor or a, a bulldozer or a lorry. Can that work? But they are all tires. So when you bring that small tire, how many of you have seen spare tires of cars that look very small? Because you were not supposed to drive with it for a long time. It's only sufficient to take you to the mechanic. 
you see some of these giant cars and they come with enlarged tires and sometimes when smaller cars are struggling because of the pothole those cars can come and pass as if they are, they are not even aware that's what enlargement does when you are limited when you are constrained five children you are living on 50,000 it's not a blessing no let me tell you the truth not in our world today you are anointed you pray you have to pray for one week for headache to go you can't have a ministry that is flourishing that way I told you people don't follow men they follow results when you are a man that commands that result it will look like they are following you but what they really follow are results it takes a level of dedication and loyalty and training by God for people to look beyond results and now start following men enlarge my coast enlarge my I've prayed this prayer many times this ministry did not start like this and this ministry will not remain like this because that grace for enlargement is there so why is it that your life is remaining that way one more time I want you to refuse look at every area of your life that has refused to grow and declare let that anointing for enlargement rest upon it open your mouth and pray one last time father enlarge me by the spirit of the living God enlarge me by the spirit of the living God for the sake of your glory for the excellency of your name please pray hallelujah number three let your hand be with me hallelujah let your hand be with me let your hand be with me you are going to pray this is what is responsible for advancement this is what is responsible for speed when the hand of the Lord comes upon men they refuse to stay not just at that level but even in that location it is God that moves men when you find stagnancy what you need is the hand of God the hand of God moves men. The Bible says it was the Lord that caused Moses to advance. Say, Father. One more time. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. By your hand. Advance me. By your hand. Advance my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. By your hand by your hand by your hand advance me in ministry by your hand advance me in every area of life someone is praying advance me advance me by your spirit hallelujah 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 and with the last prayer point it will now lead me to begin to minister as fast as we can fire is going to begin to fall in this place now Give us the last prayer point keep me from evil listen the psalmist said he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty is that true verse 2 says give us verse 2 i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust verse 3 surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler from the noisome pestilence verse 4 he shall cover thee with his feather and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be and thy buckler verse 5 it says thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor the arrow that flyeth by day verse 6 
nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. Seven, a thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand by thy right side, but it shall not come nigh thee. Last verse, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Listen, do you know what it means for God to keep you? To keep you means, Lord, I will not die before my time. Hallelujah. I was listening to a video this morning by late Archbishop Benson Idahosa. And he was teaching somewhere in the States. And he was just sharing how that when God gave him an instruction in Benin then, and he went and he was praying and praying and God gave him an instruction for seven days to go out every night at the roundabout alone and begin to pray and declare and say Benin belongs to Jesus and he said he prayed in the spirit of fear came what if you would die he said in one of the days when you got there he saw parts of animals that were caught and on them his name was written there can I tell you saying I do not trouble anybody nobody would trouble me is a joke all it takes to be a victim of evil is to be born the moment you find yourself here you have to understand the warfare dimension of life are we together now i'm saying this because many of you do not know you're a man of god here i want you to listen daily daily there are demons and spirits it's only when we go to heaven that i will know how many shrines how many pots how many sacrifices carry my name daily but they will continue to boil it as dinner, lunch, supper. It, it will have no effect. Not because, listen, not because we are powerful on our own. We have found from scripture that there is immunity in that name. That there is immunity in that blood. Are you ready to pray now? Say, Father, by the blood of Jesus, the blood of the eternal covenant, every covenant, me, dying me to failure, to, failure, to, death, to death, to weakness, to, weakness, to, defeat, to defeat, right now, right by, the blood, by the blood, let it be broken. Yes. Open your mouth and pray. Every covenant, every covenant, tying me to death, witchcraft, defeat, yokes, ordinances. No matter how long be broken. No matter how long be broken. No matter how long be broken. Every covenant that says people will not rise that says people will not shine hallelujah hallelujah oh be lifted above all other gods we lay our crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown. Alabarabo.
want you to be very sensitive. Listen. There was a time in my life I have met angels. I have encountered demon spirits. By the privilege of God's grace, I have encountered Jesus, the living Christ. The realm of the spirit is not an unfamiliar path. I know a bit about how spiritual things work. But first time I would encounter a demon spirit, I was praying in the night somewhere in Zaria and there was a generator close to that place. And I was praying and going close to that place. And the next thing, I moved here and there is a solid being standing. This is not vision. And the only thing he said was, get back. And when he said that, I looked and I spontaneously, I just blasted in tongues and like you are seeing this and you don't see it again. And I said, what is this? The next time I would have this, I was praying. I think I was in a period of fasting and praying or so. And then my room, the ceiling just disappeared. And then I'm seeing this giant creature. It looks like a dinosaur, very mighty. The eyes will be like the, the size of one man's head. You can imagine my head being the eye. So imagine how the head will be. And it had a long tail. But that tail had its own life. That means you could detach the tail from the being and it will still be alive. Red eyes. And it was looking at me. And it says, so you think you will, how did, what? I can't even remember. What? So you think you will bring God's people into abundance. I remember. And I said, ah, so this is the spirit that sits upon men's destinies. They don't know. They think it's joblessness. They think it's just family conflict. They don't know that these are wicked spirits. By reason of the apostolic and the prophetic call, I have been exposed to visions. I have encountered spirits. Some of the songs that you hear us sing, I didn't write them. These were songs that I heard from the realm of the spirit and I brought it down and wrote it. So when you see me minister to people, I'm not ministering from a standpoint of ignorance. There are real spirits sitting on the destinies of men. And they may not know, ladies and gentlemen, whoever told the woman who was bound for 18 years that there was an actual spirit holding her like that. This woman kept going, hoping that things would change. If spirits can bind men, can they bind businesses? If spirits, can they bind destinies? And Jesus looks at the woman and says, Woman, thou art loose from your infirmity. She did not even know what happened. Suddenly, a spirit that has been comfortable for 18 years, that woman would have remained like that. Some of you have had some conditions around your life. Um, it's like that. I just feel dizzy sometimes. I grew up like that. You are like that woman that has been bound. But Jesus came and he said, no matter how long it has been, the longest condition we know that a man has been in in the Bible was 38 years. We don't know how long it took Job. The Bible does not record time. But at least we know that the longest recorded time where a man stayed in his tragedy was 38 years. Then there was 12 years. But when Jesus came and said, woman, thou art loosed from your infirmity and then he laid hands and took that woman up and when the other people started talking stupid talk he said ought not this woman being a daughter of abraham whom satan has bound lo all these years that means in satan's economy time does not matter don't say after 10 years I will be free. You will never be free because of the passage of time. You will be free by the forceful manifestation of the power, the name and the blood. So listen, I'm saying that so that as I begin to minister now, we'll be very fast. That every condition you know, long-standing conditions, don't tolerate it and say it's been there. 
this bad luck has followed me since I was five years. Now I'm 50 years. It's like that. Anytime people want to do things, make sure it gives way this night. The man was sitting at Bethesda, John 5. The Bible says something happened there that every time an angel will come and stare the waters. But the man had no one to help him. And then Jesus comes to him. The Bible says he was there for 38 years. Calls him an impotent man. Did his father not give him a name? What was his name? There are many of you, your condition has swallowed your name. That people only, that guy, that family that has bad luck, as if they don't have a name. That woman whose children are all miserable. That one who's, that, that church that does not grow. The impotent man. And Jesus said, no, this is not how it works. You notice all these sick people. The Bible did not seem to care about their names because there's something about demonic oppression. It, it does not just ruin your life, it ruins your name. Notice the woman with the issue of blood, no name. The man at blind Bartimaeus, no name. The man at the pool, no name. Because every time the devil attacks, among the many things he's looking for is your name. Your honor is in your name. Your reputation is in your name. I'm saying this because I want to minister to people whose names have been diminishing. You may not have something wrong with your life, but your condition has swallowed up your name. Honor that God has given your family is about going down because it does not look, it looks like there are conditions that have stained your name. Hallelujah. Every time you see kings rise, the Bible will always call their name, even if they were given other names. But when you find people plagued with conditions, you hardly hear their names. The woman with the issue of blood, the man born blind, the man at the pool, blind Bartimaeus, the man who was sitting at gate beautiful. Look at that. Oppression among the many things it seeks to take away from you is your name because you see part of the blessing that God gave Abraham in Genesis 12 is a great name I will bless you and I will make your name great if you are great alone your children cannot be great because there's nothing for them to inherit when you go you go with your greatness but when your name is great anybody who comes under that name can continue being great Today we mention names. When you talk about names of, you know, American presidents, great people today, they are long gone, you see, but their names. So when Satan wants to destroy you, he does something to your name. Are you ready to pray? So when you see me minister deliverance, it's not just about people shouting and coming out and rolling under the anointing. No, 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 no. Deliverance has nothing to do with shouting and rolling. It's about taking authority. Are we together now? That which is, is fighting all of these things, as I mentioned in your life, they clear out of the way, fighting your ministry, your health, your life, and all of a sudden you will find out that after deliverance, the Bible says there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Deliverance happens upon Mount Zion. That is a proper place for deliverance. I'm, I'm ready to pray now. You will not do anything yet. Just, just listen to me. You see, the thing with the anointing is that you have to wait on God. You don't assume. This is what the Lord is speaking to my ears. And he's telling me now that as in this silence, that the spirit of God, there are people and destinies that he wants to uproot things. And the moment that happens, the power of God is going to start moving. Please, I want you to bring those people here. You will not need to shout. I'm the one who will just make a statement and uprooting. I'm seeing like a weed. You know how a farmer is removing weed. This is what I'm saying. Father, you have spoken and in the name of Jesus, I declare that everyone under the sound of my voice, please, when you just bring those people out, ushers or all those who need to help them, let's make it very fast so that we'll finish on time. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone who has had a planting in their life or their family, 
that needs to be uprooted my god i'm seeing fire in this place in the name of jesus right now let it be uprooted bring them out whether you are an usher or not please help them if anyone is under the anointing close to you just bring them out so that we'll save time bring them out this is an instruction that the Holy Ghost gave you will never stand I'm telling you if, this, if there is if there is something to be uprooted there is an energy a, a force from heaven Please bring them. Men and women. My Bible says every tree that has not been planted by God, that tree will be uprooted. That's what God is doing right now. Uprooting by the Spirit of God. Uprooting by the spirit of god you will marvel at the testimonies that follow uprooting things look at the wonder walking power of jesus my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands. Bring them out. Yes, Hallelujah. Now, something mysterious is going to happen here now. There are people, watch this. I just saw fire through the congregation. Please help them. There are people who will start running. This is not speed. This is, this is a deliverance. But they will start running. Hold them and bring them to the front. This is not speed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the ministry of fire that everyone under any captivity in the name of Jesus Christ by this sign that God has given may the Lord himself begin to bring them out now bring them out now please help the ushers heba shaba sada veleketosh Oppression comes to an end by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me talk to those outside. Not the other overflows, just outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I want to pray for you. The Lord is showing me something. I want to pray for those outside right now. Lift your hands. At the count of three, those outside, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name Jesus, the hand of the Lord is going to come on a few people and there will be massive deliverance. Just the overflow outside. As I count three, I want you to shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I want you to carry those outside and bring them to the front by the spirit of the living God. God is doing a very marvelous work in their lives. Now, let me pray for everyone. Anyone here under the plague of witchcraft? 
yokes of ancestry you are about to shout the name Jesus my God I'm seeing fire falling already yokes of ancestry at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three shout Jesus be released now be released now be released now be released now business is under siege families under siege destiny is under siege bring them out by the power of the Holy Ghost Bring them out. Hallelujah. The Lord wants me to speak to the men. There are spirits that have tied men in many families so that they will not rise. It's like the men become the women and the women are the men. They have to depend on the women to feed. I'm seeing at least eight people with this case. Right now the fire of God is coming on all those men inside outside everywhere at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus are you ready now one two three shout jesus every man be delivered now by the power of the holy ghost every altar tying down men tying down destinies give way now give way now give way now hallelujah hallelujah i'm hearing a name victory 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 we don't have all the time um, my my intention is for us to finish on time so i'm not going to be doing too much of um but i'm hearing the name victory wherever that press who is victory your name is victory i want to pray for you god has remembered your family i release grace upon you now by the power of the Holy Ghost, God has remembered your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Abdullahi? I'm hearing a name. This, this is, I don't know if it's your name, your son name, but I'm hearing the name Abdullahi. Abdullahi, you would think that this is supposed to be another name. Abdullahi. I just heard that name. I don't know where that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, the mantle that has been looking for you that is searching for your head in jesus name let it rest on you now <laughs> hallelujah in the name of jesus christ rachel i'm hearing the name rachel please make sure you are organized don't 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 cause confusion once if i call you if it's not your name you can stand anywhere there i i'm going to pray for those in front rachel who is rachel there is a family that God is delivering somebody's going to shout right now um, I'm seeing I'm seeing a spirit because I'm seeing that this week that is coming I'm seeing written obituary and there is a family I'm not a prophet of doom God sends redeems there is somebody right now that spirit in the name of Jesus I know you by name and I declare let that family go now 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 the family of Rachel let that family go now let that family go now your father is a police officer your father is a police officer where is he where huh? 
Are you from the east? Yes, sir. Enugu? Yes, sir. Where is he? It's in Enugu. This is what God is revealing to me. Listen to me. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing something happening and they are going to fight some people, you know, people like are fighting and I'm seeing something that is not good. But in the name, I don't know you, oh my, my friend. And I'm not, you believe what I'm telling you? Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, you reveal to redeem. We, we are standing here, but in the name of Jesus, we pray that anything that wants to destroy, and I use him as a point of contact, because what God says to one, he says to all. Anyone here, you have your loved ones, either in the police, DSS, military, air force, I declare supernatural preservation. Supernatural preservation. They shall not die. They shall not die in the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, may the Lord preserve your father in the name of Jesus. This lady kneeling down, lifting her hands. I'm seeing you wearing a police cap. Stand up. Who is it you or who? Is there anybody around your life? I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that will bring you to have any kind of demonic trouble that you need to go to the police station right now. I'm seeing fire from your feet to your head. I command it to give way now. Because I'm seeing a police cap on her head and I'm wondering what this is for. There's someone in the worship team. I just saw light. I don't know who that person is. The fire of God. The Lord is saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. This, this mystery of evil that has sat on your family is coming to an end. We declare it an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is a mother here. One of your prayer requests is for your daughter who has not given birth. Now, I'm not saying if you are trusting God. This is a mother who came and she's trusting for her daughter. I don't know who that person is. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, you have come, you have stood in for your daughter by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let your daughter return with her children rejoicing. Now, all those in front here, I want to rebuke these wicked spirits by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every legal access Satan has over your life, I declare it is broken now. And Satan, I declare as one sent by God, release your destinies now. Out of them now, in the name of Jesus, out of their destinies, out of their lives, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing someone. You have a very interesting condition you can snore from like if you are lying down there somebody who is a long distance from your place can hear you snore many people have told you this thing and you felt very I, I don't know why God is showing me this but it's a condition that God wants me to pray for you for so that one day you don't lie down and then don't, don't just wake up this is a serious medical condition is there someone like that the Lord is ministering that to me there's nothing to be embarrassed about I want to pray for that person and then number two very quickly madam thank you for your honesty thank you let's celebrate her it takes a lot of courage please stand up madam I want to pray for you the devil is a liar how long has this been it's a long time very long time yes sir. My friend, I want to pray for you. I don't know if there's a medical condition for it. I'm sure, I presume there might be. But my job is to do everything God has asked me to do. So I'm going to pray for you. The devil is a liar. That satanic thing must leave. Listen, to the silliest of things, huh? when you see God bring a word like this, it's because someone's life depends on it. And for all of you who are here, thank you for This is a family of faith. You see, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you, Father. Just, can you just make contact with your, your neck just as a point of contact? Father, you reveal to redeem. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands now. Let that demonic thing go now. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it live, never to return again. Something is leaving this guy, this guy on white. I'm seeing something like a rope on your neck. Out of him now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring you life, I bring you healing. That choking feeling is not an ordinary snore, like you are just snoring because you did not bend well. This is a satanic thing. And you don't pray for them, they will go to bed one night and that's how it will be over for them. But thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. In the name of Jesus, let it be over now. In Jesus name. God bless you. Now, I don't want you to feel embarrassed. There are two cases that I want to pray for and then I pray for healing. The Lord is ministering this to me and I don't want you to feel bad. There are people, um, if, if you are to come out here, you have just two minutes to come out very quickly. Any and all kinds of satanic addictions, addictions that want to kill you, any kind of addiction whatsoever that has overwhelmed you and God has been speaking to you and you are saying apostle I want to break free from this I want to give you two minutes come and stand before the Lord right now while they are doing that let's begin to pray don't sit back there when you know that God wants to bring you victory once and for all drunkenness pornography masturbation every kind of addiction some of you maybe on some things that you take to be high addiction even stealing can be an addiction there are people who steal things they should not steal biro paper because of that you go to the police station it's not worth it so it's a spirit come once the space is full just stand where you are in fact you can stand there for now you can you can imagine this if this is all that we do today it was worth it great is your mercy towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender I see day after day Let me teach you a principle. Look up. Everything God gave man, God gave man control over. The moment you cannot control it again, a spirit has hijacked it. Are we together now? Now, we're asking these our precious people to come and stand. We're not, listen, I don't want you to feel ashamed for whatever reason. No, you are standing before Jesus. This is the house of God. Addiction has nothing to do with whether you are good or bad. Some of the people standing here are some of the nicest people you can imagine. I have prayed for people who will steal anything. Even when you are holding hands praying, they will still carry something. It's a spirit. There are responsible people who are held bound. Some of these addictions you see have been transferred. And, and, and let me tell you this. God must raise people with this anointing and send them to the police force, the correctional centers, because there are people, no matter how long they stay there, what will really set them free is the power of God. So I celebrate all of you for summoning the courage to come. That's what Jabez did. He had to open up himself and say, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, you've been stealing, you've been stealing, you've been this and that. This is a lady that I'm seeing. There is nothing you cannot steal. And you know, I've told you, this thing works like word of knowledge. You can hide your money under the carpet. They will stand and look, look, and just go under the carpet and pick it. Parents, hear me. Some of this supposed stubbornness of children is not like, it's a, it's a demon. Do you know that there are spirits that make children stubborn? The moment you say go left, that spirit will not let them rest till they go right. I want to pray for you. This is my walk home. 
that demon, that satanic devil must leave you now. Our time is gone, but I'm going to pray for you. Father, these ones have come before you, the God of mercy and the God of all grace. Many of them have been tied down by all kinds of things. But the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. All kinds of addictions right now. Satan, I speak to every spirit that has been assigned to hold you down. Some of them are spirits of inheritance. Some of them all kinds of diabolic things. At the count of three, I declare you must let them go now. Now at the count of three, I'm going to release the power of God on you and that devil will live and live forever. Satan, take your hands of God's people at the count of three. One, two, three, out of their lives now. Be free, be free, be free, be free. I break the power of addiction. I break the power of addiction. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ out of their lives now make sure you are praying for them those who are in the congregation in the name of Jesus be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now listen many of you will come and stand here and testify and you will say finally God has given you freedom once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, lay your hands. Everyone who is trusting God for a healing miracle, very quickly, I want you to lay your hands. Lay your hands there. And let's, let's clear the way for those who are returning back so that they return back very quickly. You are more than what people say. You are more than what people say You are bigger than what people say You are bigger than what people say Jehovah, you are good You are kind You are more than what people say Jehovah, you are good You are kind You are more than what people say Lay your hands and believe Jesus for a miracle right now please don't go back the way you came place your hand there I want to pray for you you've heard the testimonies of people by the power of the Holy Ghost all kinds of satanic things I'm about to pray for you right now I'm seeing a lady who is coughing out something in a vision I mean just like somebody just coughing I don't know what that is, but in the name of Jesus, already I pray for that person, that satanic planting in your body. Right now, I declare that it comes out now. Please lay your hands. I want to pray for you. You are good. You are kind. You are more than what people see. Father, you have granted us the grace to see the sick healed. Some of you are lifting up the pictures, lifting up your phones. I see people who are connecting. There are many, many, many hospitals. Did you know it's so humbling to know the amount of clinics, hospitals that connect to the miracle services and the tremendous testimonies that have come out. And for those of you who are connecting right now in any hospital, you are connecting for a patient, probably a patient that is already dying, cancer, any demonic thing some of you are standing in for your loved ones we may not have the time to take testimonies tonight but in the name of Jesus I want you to believe he gave us this anointing and is to be an extension of his healing power to the nations as I pray I want you to believe by faith and shout a loud believing amen as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a breast lump. Right now, the power of God is touching a lady. I'm seeing a healing. Help her please. The Lord is healing 
a breast lump. That devil is living right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing an eye condition. I'm seeing the power of God touch someone. Your eyes be healed now. I'm seeing someone you are not able you are not able to go to the toilet easily I don't know what medical condition that is this has affected you right now you even need to go and see a doctor this is not just pile is it's like you're not able to stool properly and it's a very demonic situation whether you are here or following online let the healing power of Jesus touch you right now There's someone, you have what we call nose bleeding. You can stand in the sun and blood just begins to come out of your nose. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is touching you now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone with a very, you are a man. You go to ease yourself and you're easing out blood. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the mercy of God, may the power of God touch you now. Every eye condition be healed now. Every deaf ear in the name of Jesus, I declare that you are open this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone suffering from any bone condition, I decree and declare by the power of the Lord Jesus, let your limbs find strength now. Let your limbs find strength now. There's someone you slept on this side, the left side of your, your shoulder, and you've been having excruciating pain. The power of God is touching you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me two people, your molars, if I don't pray for you, they will have to extract it because I'm seeing holes already and it's bringing you severe pain around your mouth. But by the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be a miracle for you now. Ah, I need to pray for someone. I'm seeing a family mourning and I'm seeing someone just passing to glory and this is as a result of cancer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, because you have revealed this by your mercy and by your grace, avert death over this family. Avert death over this family. Let me pray for everyone here and those connecting online that has any trace of cancer. By this unction in the name of Jesus, let cancer die. Let cancer die. Let cancer die. Let cancer die. The Lord is showing me someone, you have a condition. I think I need to go and read this medical book so that I know the name of these things. You have a condition where your blood cells are fighting themselves. This is what I'm seeing fighting themselves like a condition where your body fights itself not like there's necessarily an external some it fights itself i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus that tragedy comes to an end now there's someone you are not overweight yet you lose energy the, you can't climb the stair and just the moment you do any work that seems to exhaust you a bit you start breathing there's something wrong with your heart you are not even aware because from what i'm seeing oxygen is not pumping to your body very well and this is deteriorating it's like you have a weak heart in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is may my god give you a brand new heart now every kidney condition be healed now Every liver problem be healed now. Amen. Digestive problems be healed now. Amen. And hear me, 
anyone under the sound of my voice who has not been able to carry their baby in the name of Jesus Christ I don't care what is wrong with your body let it be cleansed and perfected now cleansed and perfected now cleansed and perfected now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone something happened to your voice right now you speak you just have to hush you can't speak very loud and clear and you know it looks like you have to hush that's the only way to speak I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus let the healing power of Jesus touch you now in the name of Jesus there is a lady God is showing me um, you have a medical condition that will not allow you give birth and the doctor has discussed it with you there is a name he has given you the Lord is saying I should pray for you and release you from this in the name of Jesus whoever that person is be released now <laughs> hallelujah someone is beginning to have a swollen foot you do not even know but your legs are beginning to swell I'm not a doctor but I'm hearing in my spirit that this is a problem with your liver I have to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed now be healed now now whether I mention your case or not from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed now in fact God is God is healing a woman I'm seeing a woman with excruciating pain around her back here in Jesus name the power of God is touching you now the power of God is touching you now now there's someone you are not on this ground but I need to pray for you someone went to give you an injection and I don't know if it, maybe it's like they made a mistake this is two weeks now you have been limping you have been limping if I don't pray for you I'm seeing that that condition is going to remain like that because something has been touched that should not have been touched but by the mercies of God I decree and declare the God who is the creator of the ends of the earth may he bring perfection to your body in the name of Jesus koinonia be healed those following online be healed all the overflows be healed all the hospitals following be healed in the name of Jesus neck problems be healed blood problems be healed organ problems be healed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now here's what I would want you to do we honestly may not have the time miracle services require extended periods and we're constrained by time everybody be praying in the spirit now while you submit your prayer request please pray in the spirit and begin to submit your prayer request here's the time where everyone submits their prayer request if you're yet to write we'll give you a minute or two very quickly ushers please move around and let's let's be organized at this what i want you to do is you can pass it to the last person by your left or your right to ease um the the collection very quickly if you're writing write very quickly those of you who are online here is an opportunity to receive a mighty visitation you've heard of the things that God is doing is an instruction that God gave me and we've kept this for many years and the wonder working power of God out of this request are you praying in the spirit someone begin to pray thank you Jesus Shalika Parosa no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't keep down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. No shadow you won't light up, no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't. Down. No one you won't pick down, God you won't fear out, come in after me. No shadow you won't light up, no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, come in after me. No wall you won't kick down, no wall you won't kick down, God you won't fear out, come in after me. 
there are people who are under all kinds of yokes manipulations of darkness some of you are coming here for the first time some of you have come because you are completely confused what is the name of what is going on with my life nothing seems to be working i want to pray for you right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and that fire from heaven will fall upon anything that does not name the name of christ and get it out of your life are you ready father we give you all the glory i'm telling you i'm already sensing such power from heaven one two three shout jesus i decree and declare right now everything that is not of god give way now give way now every altar every orchestration of darkness i command that it must leave in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus please help them in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now i'm seeing something that looks like a chain but i'm seeing it on the heads of people being removed not hands on the heads i decree and declare as many who are victims of this i bring you deliverance right now from the throne in the name of jesus bring them out i bring you deliverance right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus, name of jesus. my god i'm seeing fire coming on people i'm seeing at least the number 44 this is inside and outside and the lord is bringing deliverance not only for you but this is for your entire family they have prayed this is witchcraft that has tied down families some of you will be all right but the power of god will still come on you on behalf of your family in the name of jesus I bring them out be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hallelujah the lord is asking me to pray for people the moment you go to bed encounters with dead people those who have already gone what what fellowship has the living and the dead in the name of we're not talking of the spirits of just men made perfect we're talking of demon spirits i'm about to pray for you now the power of god is coming upon you that every association connecting you to the grave and connecting you to the dead he must give up father i decree and declare let your power rest now and bring liberty 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 in the name of jesus oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your victory the lord is showing me the map of nigeria and i'm seeing the anointing of the spirit go to emo state emo and, and the power of god is coming on people now that are connected to that state this is, is is a sign and a wonder how god does it in the name of jesus anyone under any kind of yoke connected to ancestry from this region be delivered right now 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 every time a miracle is about to happen to you you will have a dream in the night either someone molesting you or something happens and that is the end of it somebody who said i will favor you matakatos kata will turn against you i decree and declare by the decree of the watchers by the power that raised christ from the dead every altar sponsoring delay and sponsoring um abortions of great dreams just when it's about to happen i cause it right now i cause it bring them out i cause it right now listen many of you have heard the stories of people they will tell you i suddenly got a job 
that I applied for in 2017. It did not just happen. There are spirits that stop it. But when they are taken away upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, then holiness, then possessing of possessions. There is someone you are at the back. You are a man of God. I just saw fire come on you. You don't even know why ministry has not been working. The Lord is visiting you. I'm seeing at the back. There is such such anointing that glory is just resting upon someone and breaking that yoke of delay in ministry that people come and they go they come and they go there is no staying and there's no growing in the name of jesus wherever that person is may the power of god touch you right where you are in the name of jesus christ do you know there is the spirit of poverty then there is the mindset of poverty if the only thing you correct is the mindset you will still be poor there is the spirit of poverty there is the mindset of poverty then there is the absence of value and productivity all of these are factors that ultimately lead to poverty you can find your place in terms of providing value but if the spirit and the mindset is not corrected you will still be poor you can provide value and even upgrade your mind but the limitation of intellect it cannot cross beyond to the realm of the spirit and correct spiritual things are we together the same way the spirit of poverty can be cast away but the mindset of poverty can remain you will still be poor the mindset of poverty can go away and the spirit of poverty can go away but then if there is no value and productivity you may it may not amount to much you will just have an epileptic financial life here you will learn the whole counsel of God it is the value and productivity but then the transition that happens to you mentally but ultimately the king of Tyre he sits in Tyre and Sidon himself he lifted Jesus and took him into an exceeding high mountain and said showed him all the kingdoms and the glories and he said i will give you this is not the issue of you are transformed i will is a transaction we will do from the realm of the spirit i want to rebuke that spirit there is a real spirit of poverty i have seen people who spent 10 20 years in the u.s and will return back when you see them in the village today respectfully speaking you will never believe that they've even traveled even to the, the state the capital it's a spirit when you find out four or five graduates all with PhD and the least person respectfully speaking is maybe some teacher somewhere earning 20,000 with PhD this is more than the issue of value there is a spirit my assignment is to deal with spirits hear me anytime you see that you are not where you use where you should be and from a physical standpoint all that should be in place is in place there is a spirit stopping you let me pray for someone in up see many people the power of god will come on so many people over this prayer father i am praying that every territorial altar that has sponsored poverty generational hardships you are still going to shout that name jesus i decree and declare at the shout and the blast of that name jesus let the fire of God fall and deliver families. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command that altar to give way now. Bring them out. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Tying down families. Tying down destinies. Be lifted in the name of Jesus. Shalegebaragados. My God, miracles are happening here. Deliverances of all sorts. Please help them so they don't enjoy themselves. Bring them out if you can.
Hallelujah. Who is Janet? I'm hearing a name, Janet. I want to pray for the sick. Janet. I can imagine that there are many people with that name, but the Lord is speaking, Janet. Shali Parus Gesi Bahashalanda Koziata Prahaski. My dear, you are stepping into a new season of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you. This is not only you, this is you and your husband. It's a season of reward that is coming. God is looking upon you with favor and with grace. And I declare may that grace rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There are five or six people who will start running out. Please hold them and bring them out gently. <sighs> Lift up your heads. O oh, ye gates. 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 Bring them out. I'm seeing something in the realm of the spirit. I made this statement because I just saw a gate, very old gate. It's like it just blasted and it opened. That's why I, I was prophesying that. Lift up your heads, O oh, ye gates. Allah For some of these gates, they have been closed for centuries. They have been closed for decades. Like Jericho, nothing comes out and nothing comes in. But the God of vengeance is opening those gates right now. Please help them so that no one injures themselves. Janet. Who's Janet? I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you. Janet. I just saw something come out. Like physically. Just, um, I, I almost didn't even know that. Just come out of one of you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit. The Bible says a curse causeless shall not stand. So if it stands, there is a cause. And if there is a cause, the remedy is the blood. Therefore, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every legal access, I use these people in front as a point of contact, every legal access that the devil has over any life and any destiny that is authorizing oppression by the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things than the blood of Abel, I declare that legal access is broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Open your mouth in one minute and declare every legal access that is authorizing oppression by the blood of Jesus, even the blood of the eternal covenant, I declare my release. I declare my release. I announce a jubilee by the spirit of grace. Faith brings me to my jubilee and I declare I announce a jubilee. Someone is praying a financial jubilee, a health jubilee. Hallelujah. Who is Christopher? I'm hearing the name Christopher. We may not have all the time to just prophesy. Christopher, restoration is coming. Christopher. Ah, can you imagine? This man, that was his wife, Del, that was under the anointing. Christopher. Who sells phones? phones like electronics but i'm seeing phone you sell you sell phone is there someone like that you have like a phone shop i want to pray for the person now please if it's your issue you had the testimony of that gentleman once there's a delay protocol will naturally have to stop you because we have to hurry up when you find that you sell phone you 
deal with phone gadgets please let me have that person I want to pray for him Christova the Lord is bringing restoration that's what I heard in my spirit restoration two of you the power of God is coming upon you a strange grace is coming upon you for restoration the way God will restore things it will surprise you everyone will receive but two of you the power of God is coming on you in the name of Jesus I declare it so may that mantle rest upon your life let there be restoration supernatural restoration where is that lady that gave that footballer that my footballer lady where is she the lady who came to as she was testifying God had put it in my heart to pray is she here is she around she's a footballer now she should hurry up you are a footballer you should be able to your life is about to change do you believe in miracles hmm. yes, sir. there is a kingmaker anointing listen kingmakers don't become kings but they enthrone and they dethrone it is by privilege of grace there is something that is happening here as I'm praying you will hear testimonies of people like that thing they say grass is it grass grass to grace my dear in the name of Jesus I place an anointing upon you I'm seeing that the doors of Europe will open for you receive that grace take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ As I've prayed for her, let me speak for to, over everyone. Anyone called Mephibosheth, that you are in your lowly estate by reason of certain disadvantages in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that David sends for you. The season has come for your lifting. Oh, thou Mephibosheth, David has sent Ziba to look for you. I stand as a prophetic Ziba in the name of jesus you are sent for by the lion of the tribe of judah even the root of david in the name of jesus christ and david said is there any man of the house of saul that he may dine with me and ziba went to lodeba and brought mephibosheth and he made the sons of ziba to plow the land for him but as for him, he said, you will dine with me here for the rest of your days. God has visited your wife, Christopher. At least I know this one. This is not, it's your turn. Favor. God is going to be connecting you to people of strange influence. I release that grace right now upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the gates of this city will open for you in a way that will surprise you let this happen even by the spirit of god in the name of jesus christ my friend what do you do why are they all here? this one at the back that one with a nose, nose mask phones phone, phone gadgets phone gadgets yes, where sir. in dutse 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 shopping complex sir. okay you believe in the power of god yes sir two months yes sir. two amen. months amen. from now amen. please hear me take that grace two months from now my god will turn your life around in a way that will surprise you this is by the spirit i'm not the one doing it is as instructed that the lord puts in my heart and i declare it in the name of jesus and for all of you who have come out here for various reasons there is a man you are a lawyer what is god doing with legal people i'm seeing the lord is bringing restoration this is a legal practitioner in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is but you have lost money you have lost things in the name you don't have to come out please just except I ask you if not the time we may not be able to what do you do huh where 
I'm a lawyer with it. I practice in Abuja here, yeah? Integrity Chambers. Where? Integrity Chambers. How long has this been? I've been into practice for the past 10 years. Do you believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. You've lost everything. Yes, sir. Money. Yes, sir. Opportunities. Yes, sir. They defrauded you. Yes, sir. But now God wants to restore you. Amen. Do you believe this? Yes, sir. I believe, sir. Do you know, you would think that because the power of God flows through me, I should be used to this. I'm standing in shock myself as I watch how God turns lives around. Believe me. Believe me. My friend, in the name of Jesus, I use you as a point of contact. Every legal practitioner here, you've not been rising, no clients, no open doors. Fire is coming on you now. I'm seeing someone... You are in the ushering department and you are a lawyer, you are a lady. Where is that person? Your doors are opening. Please. Just take it. Don't worry. You don't have to. God is going to visit you. Legal practitioner, in the name of Jesus, please don't tell lies. Make sure. Are you, are you lawyers? Huh? Father, you have spoken in the name of Jesus. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let doors be open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, the one I started praying for, in Jesus' name I pray for you. Let there be restoration. Forget about everything you have lost. The God of heaven is able to restore. If he restored Job, may he restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Phillips? Phillips. Who is? May God bless you. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. I want to pray for the sick, but am I wasting your time? Phillips, I'm hearing. Please, let's verify so that, you know, sometimes these people just run, whether they are the ones or not. They will come and they will say, by faith. We are people of faith, but let's just make sure that we don't tell lies you can receive by faith that gentleman god wants to turn his life around phillips take it easy take it easy please the ushers are trying they are human beings who so take it easy because if they are tired they will leave you to fall down you may enjoy yourself let's take it easy what do you do my friend and i'm a teacher where i have a cosmetic shop and i'm a professional teacher so I combine the both. Okay, I want to pray for you. Where are they coming out? You are Phillips too? All of you? I will pray for you. The one with white, what are you doing? I'm a businessman. Okay, we'll pray. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I don't know what God is doing with ushers. There's one ushering person who will shout now under the anointing. The power of God. I don't know whether it's inside here, whether it's outside. I'm praying for... Every altar. In the name of Jesus, I curse it right now. Hear me? Whatever will not give you rest. In the name of Jesus, may it be laid to rest now. May, may it be laid to rest now. For all of you, you came out here for various reasons. I stretch my hands towards you. May the power of God rest upon you. And everything that has brought retrogression in your life, let it come to an end now. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. The gentleman under the anointing, he's blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please don't be embarrassed. There, I'm seeing one of them, I don't know, it's like you are up somewhere. You are a medical doctor. And then one I'm seeing in one of the overflows. These two, I know there are many medical doctors here. But I'm just walking as the Spirit of God is granting me grace because we're going to quickly pray for the sick. Medical doctor. I don't know if um, one of them I know for sure is in one of the overflows. And then 
is there someone like that i want to speak over your life god is changing your life in one of the not outside one of the overflows you're a medical doctor and then someone within this place like somewhere up the balcony not here you're a medical doctor is there someone like that please when you find them let me speak over their lives so that we'll bring this to an end now i don't mean to embarrass you but there's the person i'm seeing is a lady you made your hair you didn't tie it this is what i'm seeing you're a lady you didn't like you pack your hair like this is there someone like that medical doctor see how many doctors we have here that means we shouldn't be sick spiritually and medically hallelujah father i was going to say something just escaped my mind now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god you you you, you would imagine that these sincere people some of them please i'm not insulting you eh? i'm not insulting you but you can't imagine the things i'm seeing as i'm looking here these are sincere people who love the lord attending to other people and yet for some of them there are all kinds of embargoes just holding them down in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead I declare right now there's one of you there is such fire that is coming on you right now as I'm speaking in the name of Jesus release them now by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare freedom for you in the name of Jesus you have been applying to go abroad applying to go abroad applying to go abroad it's like this spirit will not let it happen you have not even gone past the first stage and it's not like you are lazy something just happens and it does not even work even before scholarships and now everything is over you were not even given in the name of jesus i declare by the power of the holy spirit a change of story comes for you now a change of story comes for you now a change of story comes for you now in the name of jesus hallelujah the lord is ministering to me to do something different please bring out your prayer request don't submit it just bring it out you are going to pray holding it it's a good thing to walk with the holy spirit and not just to be mechanical please bring out your prayer request if you've not written you may want to write it down i'm not a prophet of doom and usually i would not come to say this in the open but let's pray i'm seeing a major person in the judiciary go to be with the lord just like that and they say this person has gone i'm not a prophet of doom but and ordinarily it, it would not even profit me to say anything sometimes god just puts it in your heart and he has been insisting i've been struggling with it to say it but we have to pray there are some things that the prayer now is to help the people so that they put their houses in order but i'm seeing someone in the judiciary you will hear this happen may the lord show the family mercy in the name of jesus christ and that they put their houses in order but this is what god has revealed to me please bring your prayer requests I want you to truly believe that the things that you have written will come to pass some of you you may not have any personal need but you are writing for the sake of others some of you are holding photos in one minute ordinarily I would ask you to bring it here but the Lord just began to put this in my spirit I've not even prayed for the sick and even if we pray and we don't have the time to take testimonies that's fine this is it's not some ritual we are people who are led of the spirit hallelujah but in one minute while holding your prayer request i want you to agree with god 
and say father everything that i've written in the name of jesus let it become my testimony someone is praying everything i have written everything i have written outside inside you're writing it for yourself those online you're connecting by faith in the name of jesus i have seen god answer prayers in remarkable ways please pray it's an instruction that god is putting in my spirit if you can mention the things you wrote mention them by faith to be anxious for nothing the bible says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says to let our requests be made known unto god let your request be made known unto god let your request be made known unto god let your request be made known unto god hallelujah now please hear me i'm going to give a very serious instruction and i want you to listen please listen if you are here and you've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb please listen you have been trusting god for the fruit of the womb we are going to pray during the program but immediately after the program please I want to meet with you so all those who are here number one be sure you are married and then number two make sure that um, you are serious about what we are saying we are believers we are not idol worshippers so if you if you don't believe just go away but those you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb please after the service I want you to wait I will ask the product you can wait in front here I'll ask the protocol to lead you I want to have a word with you your salvation has come in the name of Jesus believe me when I tell you your salvation has come in the name of Jesus now while you are standing please you can pass your request to the last person ushers please let's collect it now let's collect it now who is Samuel a baby Samuel a baby is there someone like that? A baby, oh. Huh? Your son? And so you stand now. Who else? Samuel. A baby. You too? Is my friend, but even though he's not a baby, this boy is. How old is he? Ah, four. You are not a baby boy, you are my friend. Because you have smiled at me, I will pray for you. Eh? How are you? Are you my friend? Yes. Beautiful. Because you are my friend. Welfare. I don't know where you are going to find cake, but make sure this my little boy. This boy. Give him something and bless him. Huh? In fact, except it will create chaos. If it will not create chaos, and we can do it in the next one minute. From one to ten. Bring all our children here. <laughs> Parents, if you can do it orderly, please don't carry anybody's child who is not your own. This is a large house. I'm warning now. Let's obey instructions. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Let's celebrate our children as they come. This is Koinonia Future. Is this how you are honoring them? Parents, if they are coming out, hold them. Anyone that cannot walk, you come with them. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the leader, children of the world. 
hallelujah children god bless you eh? just behave well don't give your parents headache we're about to pray for you huh some of you at this age you were in a shrine you were not even here so glory to god that we have our children in the house of god i know what i'm saying some of you at this age there was an altar and all kinds of demonic things being done on you it's just in my spirit to pray for these precious children don't belittle them the person whose future you have already seen you've seen it but the one whose future you have not seen only god knows remember what you are learning as an adult is what they are learning as children please if you are coming come quickly parents i'm seeing some other people come we are all going to do it we'll pray this prayer sorry sorry help me please just comfort the children soon we'll have a children's department you see how this these children there has to be a way of managing this so for those of you who are in children ministry get ready you will soon have work in the name of Jesus start start thinking already start planning how are we going to have the best child care system now please stretch your hands wherever you are to these ones and I want you to begin to speak over their lives from the depth of your heart pray like you are praying for your own biological child is someone praying this is part of the miracle service Please cry to the God of heaven. Don't worry if you are holding a child's picture, just lift it. You don't have to come. Just lift it where you are. Please pray. Children, pray to talk to Jesus. Father, we pray for our children. We pray for our children. We pray for our children. We pray for our children in the name of Jesus. These koinonia children will not be lost. Please, someone pray. They will not die before their time in the name of Jesus the hand of God is upon them they represent the future of this ministry the future of this vision Lord we love them we honor them and we pray that you will bless them Satan the Lord rebuke you someone rebuke Satan the Lord rebuke you over the life of these children we separate them from the company of wicked and unreasonable men we separate them from occultism initiations of of infants in the name of jesus we declare they are free 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 from it and if there is any child here that is under any kind of occultic manipulation witchcraft wizardry in the name of jesus we bring them deliverance now we bring them deliverance now we bring them deliverance now I decree and declare I join my faith with everyone here and every parent here and we speak over our children in the name of Jesus prayer number one none of them will die an infant I say it again none of them will die an infant number two everything connected to ancestry whether coming from the east the west the north and the south in the name of Jesus we bring them deliverance now number three academically we place an anointing upon them may they excel like Daniel number four as touching the matters of God may they have the encounters of Samuel even as infants in the name of Jesus Christ and finally I am praying that every parent here who is alive seeing their children in the name of Jesus you will see them as adults you will see them as leaders you will see them as great people in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord bless you and the Lord increase you in Jesus name let's celebrate them as they go please I want you to lay your hands you are trusting God for a healing miracle lay your hands now Please, I want us to be very orderly with the children. Make sure that they go back to their parents or their loved ones. Please, let's, let's make sure that they go. Children can run around and play, but make sure that they go, especially for the, the very small ones. Let's make sure that they return back. Please lay your hands. I want to pray. Some of you, this is the major reason why you came here tonight. 
because of our time we may not I'm not sure that we may have the time to take testimonies tonight because um, I, I don't want to stretch us too long we can leave all the testimonies for the next week but I want you to lay your hands there why do we pray for the sick because there is a relationship between sickness and death there is a strong relationship between sickness and death now please if you are here and you came with a sick person you can stand in for them by faith or if you are following from a hospital there are several hospitals that connect to the miracle services they have their patients trusting God and we've heard marvelous testimonies of miracles whether it is high blood pressure whether it is hepatitis HIV whatever it is just lay your hands I want to pray for you right now I have experienced the healing power of Jesus in my own life so I know that he heals I know that he, he heals just lay your hands there no one Jesus there is no one darling there is no one Jesus there is no one else like you no one Jesus there is no one darling there is no one For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no There is a man you are not in here but you are suffering from prostrate he's been diagnosed already in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the power of God is coming upon you right now the power of God is coming upon you right now the Lord is showing me a woman your left breast there are multiple lumps there verified you've gone to the hospital in the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God I bring you life right now now I rebuke every spirit I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down and every time I see this this prophetically signifies blood pressure whether high blood pressure low blood pressure in the name of Jesus I am praying right now for every and anyone who is here suffering from high blood pressure low blood pressure in Jesus name be healed now God is healing someone with the issue of blood this is a terrible thing sometimes you almost feel dizzy almost like you collapse in the name of Jesus I declare please help them let there be healing for you now let there be healing for you now every blood condition blood condition HIV hepatitis in the name of Jesus I speak over your life be healed now you can bring the request in the name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen I'm seeing someone around I don't know if it's your armpit area or the side you have a growth something that looks like a boil that has come out is so discomforting and is painful in the name of Jesus I am praying for you may the power of God rest upon you rest upon you rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ eye conditions you're already having cataract glaucoma in the name of Jesus or any kind of eye condition you're already seeing things that are not there because of severe, severe pains, water coming out of your eyes, 
I decree and declare be healed now be healed now be healed now there's someone you have from your lumbar vertebra down and then another person you have severe pain just around your back here in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is who is that what's that you are lifting a corset are you the one holding it do you believe in miracles lift it and come you are healed come lift it up is it for you how long 20 13 what couldn't you do I I couldn't bend look I, at me you brought you came here with this yes sir all the way from Joss all the way from Joss yes sir. look at me in the name of Jesus Ben Jesus. check yourself look at this look at this look at this Look at, look at, he's checking himself. This woman too. Who is this? Back pain. Back pain. Yes. For how long, ma? For more than 11 years. More than 11 years. Yes, even last, last month I received injection 242. 242 yes and i'm still receiving see here yeah, for back and madam l4 l5 and then down to my leg here yeah, knee was um, now we didn't plan to take testimonies but you see god god knows that some people need this for their faith huh madam 200 and 243 just until i lost count because every day they will give me four here yeah? then my two hands they can still see the sign of the my dear, that's all, it's, it's all right, madam. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. My dear, Osha, place your hand on her back. Father, this is a miracle service. In the name of Jesus, 242 injections. This is, this is demonic. This is not a medical condition. Father, let Jesus be glorified tonight. I decree and declare be healed now yeah. madam look at me bend over slowly go ahead don't be afraid stand up bend again bend again any pain bend again look at what is happening to her your legs in the name of Jesus stand up look at me lift your leg no 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 watch what I'm doing Watch what I'm doing. Do it. Take it easy. Watch what I'm doing. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing to this woman? Now walk, madam. Walk. Try to walk. Just twist while you are walking. Any pain? Look at what is happening to her. My goodness. What is happening to you, madam? Look at, ah, look at this, look at this. I'm still seeing, God bless you, madam. I'm still seeing somebody, please forgive me. But this, there is an anointing for bone conditions to heal people. There are some of you who came with crutches, whether outside or where, please. I want you to, I, I, my conscience, my heart, I will not be able to sleep knowing that the power of God for this miracle has come. Whether I, I know somebody was healed outside, I know there are a number of people. Lift it now and walk. Lift it now and walk while we pray. In the name of Jesus, take it easy. We're not, we're not stage managing or faking anything here. This is the power of God walking through people. Walking through people. Please, when you find a miracle, let us know. And then if we can have one or two of them but let me finish the prayer um there's someone it looks like something is stuck around your truth in the name of jesus christ i am praying for you right now by the power of the holy spirit 
in fact the lord is showing me someone there is a swelling like this is thyroid you know this um this thing that swells the throat in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but the power of god is coming upon that person right now don't tell lies make sure you really have such a situation who is the person we are praying right now oh i can see it look at all the wonderful destinies that the devil wants to trap with this demonic thing your own is an attack eh? lady number two i cast that spirit out now In the name of jesus father for your name and for your glory this demonic thing i don't care what it is and where it came from but in the name of jesus the son of the living god by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now Amen. be healed now Amen. that the, the spirit behind it is caused right now in the name of jesus christ there will be complete healing complete healing for you in jesus name i'm still praying for the sick i remember calling out samuel a baby before we spoke about the children i didn't get to pray is there a baby called samuel maybe i'll just pray we may not have time for all of them to come out but there is the lord is asking me to rebuke an attack over a samuel who is a baby some of my dear people leaders here have their children called samuel and any other person here connected in the name of jesus there's a miracle that has happened there look at this let's celebrate jesus are you seeing what the lord is doing the lady is even surprised herself koinonia are you celebrating jesus look at this you are the covenant keeping god you are Yahweh. My dear, you came with this. Yes, I did. What happened to you? Well, you were praying, so I no. What happened before now? I woke up one morning and all of a sudden I couldn't look up. If I look up, my neck will hurt so badly. If I look down, my neck will hurt so badly. I was having back pain. I was having neck pain here. I went to the hospital and they recommended this, and I've been wearing it since then. How long? For like about a week or two now. Oh, okay, it's just something that happened recently. Yes. Place your hand on your neck. In the name of Jesus, we do not trivialize this miracle. This is the Lord's doing. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. Any pain? Any pain? Any pain? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you even by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ perfection for you in the name of jesus christ i don't know but again the spirit of god is taking me outside there's someone i don't know what miracle has happened to you outside that's not the overflows now outside in the name of jesus christ I, I, I don't know what miracle that is but by the power that raised christ from the dead i think this is something that has to do with your legs from what i'm seeing in jesus name i am praying for you let life let strength let vitality rest upon you in the name of jesus christ there is someone you have been suffering severely from breathing problems you don't have asthma yet it acts as though it's asthma you know severe breathing problems breathing problems i'm praying for the sick is there someone like that the lord wants to set you free right now how long has this been
help a gentleman and a lady who will shout under the anointing now one day I will take the time to explain to you why these things happen so that you can understand because sometimes when we don't have an understanding it just looks like these are just some what's that please they should take it easy listen let me teach you something in administering miracles don't just get excited to show that the man of God is anointed or the power of God is in the place that you punish and frustrate the people who are remember everything we do is by love so even when the people believe and if they start moving you guide them as they are releasing their faith and the miracle now manifests that is when you can bring them up to testify don't don't try to embarrass them and put them you know under pressure either because you've lifted their wheelchairs or you've lifted their crutches we're not pretending this when a miracle happens a miracle has happened it's as simple as that are we together now breathing problems please help them three of you the power of God is coming on you now is the spirit of death after that I can pray for the rest this one is the spirit of death it's just the instruction God is giving me three of you there is an anointing that is coming that one is, is the manifestation of the spirit of death you must let them go oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory in the name of Jesus the son of the living God now I pray for you every wicked oppression affecting you affecting your breathing whether in the night or in the day connected to any medical condition be healed now i use this once as a point of contact to pray for everyone be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now lay your hands on your chest i'm seeing something leaving you this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus it has been there for a long time but now you must go by the power that raised christ from the dead in jesus name be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now in the name of jesus christ now whether i mention your case or not i decree and declare outside all the overflows inside following online every situation that you've had there's someone god is visiting you you may not come out you have a baby that is not growing i don't know what the medical condition is but your baby is not growing and this is a very demonic thing right now in the name of jesus wherever that parent or that baby is i stretch my hands and i declare life and healing now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus one lady is going to shout under the anointing all i will tell you is that a miracle is happening to your womb that's what is happening to you i don't know who that person is but the holy spirit just ministered the power of god is coming on you a miracle is happening your womb your womb it is something that medically cannot be corrected but the Lord is visiting you now it is something that medically cannot be corrected but the power of God is resting upon you now my God look how many people outside those outside lift your hands I have to pray for you the camera has shown me those outside I'm praying for everyone but I want to speak over those outside those outside whether you are by the roadside whether wherever it is I want you to stand I want to pray for you we pray and trust that God will grant us grace soon to have our own facility in Jesus name are you in agreement with me can see that 
those who are within the main auditorium are a very minute fraction there are so many people all the overflows following online thousands of people outside those outside we are agreeing with you in the name of jesus christ everything that represents shame and reproach by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare let it be broken from off your life now let it be broken from off your life now now those outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus as loud as you can the power of god is going to come on some of you and that will be my ministration for you and then we'll just pray and do the altar call and wrap up those outside father in the name of jesus even as you have put it in my heart for all the thousands of people outside who have stood in faith in the name of jesus trusting you to visit them i decree and declare lord by that shout let there be an avalanche of your glory your deliverance your power upon every one of them are you ready now those outside just the people outside one two three shout jesus i decree and declare everything that is not of god let it give way right now i release you into the prophetic blessing of the lord i decree it by the power of the holy spirit supernatural miracles over your life in the name of jesus supernatural miracles over your life in the name of jesus christ be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name stretch your hands over the request i know you prayed for them but please stretch your hands stretch your hands over the requests stretch your hands over the requests thank you thank you father in the name of jesus christ i bow my knees even over these requests there are people trusting god for financial miracles there are people trusting god for change of stories trusting god for the salvation of their loved ones lord they have brought this as an act of faith i stand by the privilege of priesthood and i declare over this request may they be answered by fire may they be answered by fire in the name of jesus christ every human agent who must walk in partnership with the holy spirit to make for answers to this request i compel their ministry over your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare that even from tonight let there be a harvest of supernatural results a harvest of supernatural answers a harvest of supernatural testimonies because you believe i declare that you receive it in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and as i would always pray these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ please lift your hands and receive this prophetic blessing every door that has been closed over your life and destiny by the power that raised christ from the dead may that door be open now may that door be open now number two every human vessel who has proposed to help you but for some reason they've not been able to attend to you this week coming in the name of Jesus, may the Lord show you mercy that you receive their help. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, everyone trusting God for a job here. You've heard the testimonies. I declare yet again, may my God surprise you. Every business here, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare that the Lord God of heaven will cause you to excel in the name of jesus christ 
I pray, I know that from an economic standpoint, it looks like times are very difficult, but I want to declare, even as you have prayed, may the grace for exemption in the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. But please hear me. No one here under the sound of my voice will become a victim of any kidnapping. As you go by road, as you go by sea, as you go by air, you are supernaturally protected. In the name of Jesus. And every orchestration of darkness against anyone here, you are delivered now. Those seeking God for promotion, I declare, let it be yours. Those seeking God for restoration in families, let there be that grace upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray as always for your spiritual life. This is the highest and the noblest index to measure your success. I decree and declare, fire like never before upon your prayer life fire like never before upon your word life in the name of jesus christ please hear me if you came here facing any circle of disappointment any circle of disappointment i'm declaring to you this night it comes to a permanent end Anything that has left you that should not have left by the power of the prophetic we call it back to your life <laughs> hear me some of you it's not like you are doing bad but sincerely you've not done anything extraordinary for a long time is you can't say you are not doing maybe you are doing poorly but you can't also say you are excelling the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter. May that ever brighter grace rest on you. That ever brighter grace rest on you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I just, I didn't even notice I'm just spotting Choma Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, God bless you. My worship team people, make sure after trauma jesus please let me plead after the grace you people will wait she will pray and bless you this woman you see this is this is 50 years am i right on that yes 50 serving the purposes of god what a lovely woman early uh, i think i don't know what month it was i was with her in oweri was such a beautiful beautiful meeting so my dear people there is grace for you to receive after the grace hallelujah praise the name of the Lord you have celebrated me you have honored me you have seen what God has done in and through my life I want to pray a prayer for no you don't have to kneel or did but please this thing called grace for visibility is not you can't manipulate it it's not about social media if the grace is not on you if you like beg people to see you they will say we are busy I decree and declare whatever has hidden you so that your glory will not be seen by the power that raised Christ from the dead in this season find supernatural visibility from America to Europe to Asia to Africa even in Nigeria visibility for your ministry visibility for your family visibility for your business visibility for your products visibility for your business outfit in the name of Jesus Christ everyone here who has the call of God upon his life I declare by reason of your encounter here you will not fail help them you will not fail men women pastors apostles prophets evangelists missionaries receive the engracing for a new season in the name of jesus 
I pray for your finances by the power that raised Christ from the dead you shall not beg you shall not beg step into the overflow by the anointing of the spirit you will sort the breast of kings and in their glory you will post yourself in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will multiply you you will not be small he will glorify you you will not be few in the name of Jesus Christ the last prayer point because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows I want to pray for you honor is a grace you've heard me say you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon another I pray for you by the privilege of this that we have received in the name of Jesus we have received it from God we have received it through the fathers we have received it through them that sell in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may this mantle rest upon you anywhere you have been despised may that grace bail you out in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the glory wave your hands to Jesus from left to right and tell him thank you Lord we thank you for tonight in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now I want to make the altar call and then we're done there are people here thank you you've been standing for long thank you for your patience you may sit for a minute or two there are people here who need to hand over their lives to Jesus please let's minimize movement so that you allow those who are coming to come there are people who are saying apostle I have seen the power of God I've seen the hand of God but I sincerely need Jesus in my life even right now I know that you may see people moving up and down but please I like you to focus this call is for your destiny two in one there are those who are saying I need to make this decision afresh and there are those who are saying I need to rededicate my life to Jesus you belong to any of these categories we have one minute for you very boldly and without shame with gallancy leave your seat and come as we appreciate you let's honor them as they come let's honor them as they come koinonia is this the best you can do from the main auditorium the balcony all the overflows outside following online come to Jesus let's celebrate them as they come I'm counting one to five and then we pray one two if you're coming please run please clear the way for them so that they make it apostle I want to come but I'm not sure if I'm saved I'm not exactly bad but I'm not saved come God bless you join them very quickly so that you can have what the Bible calls or what we call the assurance of salvation Four, young and old please come come to Jesus He's able to give you a new beginning. And finally, five. You're coming, please rush. Apostle, I'm still thinking about it. Do I come? I want to come, but I'm ashamed of my friends. I'm ashamed of those who I came with. Please leave them and come. This is a very personal decision. Amen. Thank you. Please, may I request, thank you for coming. May I request that you lift your hands high above your head as a sign of surrender. All the overflows those who have come out please the same and then following online maybe in your home anywhere I like you to just lift your hands say after me very loud and clear say Lord Jesus one more time please say it say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe that you are the Son of God I believe that you died and rose again for my justification right now I make Jesus Lord of my life I make Jesus Savior of my soul and I declare that Jesus is my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell 
and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god i'm born again in jesus name keep your hands lifted thank you father for these ones you have brought them even by your spirit the bible declares that as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away in the name of jesus based on your declaration i declare your sins forgiven and i declare that it is a new beginning for you in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray for you that the life of god would find visible expression in your life i commend you to the word of his grace i commend you to the ministry of the holy spirit may you be grounded in righteousness in the name of jesus christ thank you heavenly father in jesus name let me pray for this gentleman i rebuke that spirit you heard his confession let him go now in the name of jesus release him by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name i pray amen thank you very much for this decision may i please request that you follow the counselors to my right which is your left let's honor them as they go celebrate them thank you very 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 much hallelujah please keep clapping until they go god bless you hallelujah thank you very much again let me we're stepping into deeper series of teachings that will build us the weeks that follow would be times of intense prayer times of learning at a higher level god is lifting us line upon line precept upon precept like i said yesterday may i please encourage you to number one ensure that um, you get these teachings as far as possible. This is not some marketing of a man of God's ministry. Uh, the business that we're in is, is greater and more serious than that. We're talking about destinies and lives that sometimes may be at the mercy of one message for their transformation. And then do remember that our corporate publicity is your our corporate publicity is your responsibility also, being part of this family and this fold ensure that you do not just come to church alone but do well to come with someone and we keep doing our best to make sure that whether you sit outside any of the overflows inside or you connect online that you have the best of the koinonia experience and we trust that god is going to grant us grace in jesus name a quick announcement uh, to all of the workers please um, watch for the messages that will be sent to you from your heads of department um, for when we'll have the workers meeting, workers retreat. So please do well. And then I hope that by next week, um, we'll begin to announce when we'll be having the practicum for our School of Ministry students. Many of you, um, you have not experienced our School of Ministry students, and so we'll be having the practicum. We'll give them room to just come and tell us what this, was, this would be about and the lord will bless you in jesus name one more time we honor pastor godwin he's left and then we honor uh, pastor mrs bimbo god bless you ma truly take our love and blessings to apostle goodheart may the lord bless you and for every man and woman of god here may the lord bless you and lift you in jesus name i completely forgot to introduce a dear man of god who came with um, pastor sam pastor ishaya and his wife laura god bless you Thank you so very much. All the way from Gombe. The Lord bless and honor you in Jesus' name. Please, let's rise. Please do remember the case that I called. Maybe ushers will walk with them and then um, we'll just have a word with them. Please stand. Have you been blessed tonight? Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. 
and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you